Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be continuing our Breath of the Wild adventures. Because it is just very, very fun gelling with me. It's just been a very fun time. The audio might be slightly different because I moved my setup around a little bit. I have like a fold-out bed couch in my computer room, and sometimes brain just goes, move it over to be your, uh, your computer chair, and so... Since I have a better mic arm to hold my microphone that makes it less of a hassle, we'll see how it goes. I did some tests, and I think it came out decent, but you never know. <laughs> the world is evil. Last time... We came on into the Zoro's Domain, and we met up with everybody. Sidon, the Lord Dolphin, and I almost forgot we were going to do some of the side quests. Off to the adventure log. We did our first shrine quest, really, because I don't... Personally, I don't think Watch Out for the Flowers is a shrine quest. When it is a quest given to you by the person who planted the flowers, it's not like the monk who made that temple is like, yes, do not uh, attack the lilies. Now it's just a normal person. But there should be a few quests here. Oh, they even have it kind of be set, like Zora's Domain and stuff, because there's like this where we need to find uh, the luminous stones, I think. Oh, wait, no, there, that's another one, Luminous Stone Gathering, you know, the one right below the one I was hovering over, I am a fool. But yeah, we need to keep that in mind, and once we get ten, come back. But for now, we're going to try and go over Zora's Domain, looking for the monuments, because I don't think I've ever done this quest before. We can climb now, so since it's no longer constantly raining, so we'll be able to adventure a bit more. Uh, and then along the way, maybe we'll find May, the wife who washed away. And uh, then we'll head back to Hatino Village, show the kid the Traveler's Sword so he can throw it away and never have to deal with it again. And uh, then just, like, try to activate more towers and stuff. And, uh, yeah, just various, various things. So from the looks of things, we have like uh six of the stones already marked and i think i can get rid of that i'm fairly certain that we got rid of you we beat the hinox there but yes let us begin no idea where like potentially the stones could be, for all I know, the stones could also be, like, the monuments could be spread around over here. And I wonder how it's going to be counted. Oh, hey. There's some luminous stone. But it feels like it would be a, pa get a, be a pain to get to. So we're not gonna bother. Oh, there's, there's one. Not sure if we have it marked. Gonna do that. Alright. Then you. I'm fairly certain you're also marked, so let's see. Good. So this is basically like a big old treasure hunt for lore and quest. Not even sure what we'd get out of this. Very interesting. I guess we'll read this one over here to really begin and see if it'll properly keep counting stuff. Because I believe that... forget which one this should be. Oh, wait a minute. Also, isn't there, like, one that was addendum over there? I'll have to keep that in mind. The one that talked about Prince Sidon defeating an Octorok. Yeah, because this is the broken one 
which is basically a... Well, I guess it was duplicated, broken and all. So now that that one has been noticed, I want to quickly check and see. There are ten to find in total. Since we can, like... What's the word? We can, like... Oh, wait, no, there's actually a path that leads up, so why not? Let's go see. Have you ever seen anybody do that? Like, do a dive only to return to a standing, like, position as they fly down? I don't think that'd be healthy. But let's see. What do you have to say? History of the Zora Part 3. Miracle of the White Scale as told by King Dolphin. Our scholars say that in the distant past, Zoro's domain had a king with no special talent for the art of war. What he lacked in skill with a blade, he made up for in love for his people, and especially love for his queen. One day, news reached the king of a horde of monsters gathering in the Zorbadon... Z Zodaban Highlands. There was like a B and a D and they both looked the same, and my brain just yeah, tweaked a little bit. The king steeled himself for war to protect his people, but the queen knew how ill-suited for the task he was. Worried for his life, she wove one of her own scales into his armor, hoping that her love would protect him in battle. It seemed for a time that the tide of battle favored the Zora, and that all would make it home safely. But the cunning Lizalfos general saw an opening and seized it, driving the king's forces into a corner. Just when the general sword was ready to crash down upon the king, a miracle took place. An errant sunbeam reflected from the scale on his armor, blinded the Lizalfos, stopping the death blow from falling. This was the chance the king needed to rally his forces and turn the tide, taking down the general and securing victory. This came to be known as the Miracle of the White Scale, a scale that only female Zora possess. It was this miracle that began the tradition of Zora princesses crafting armor for their future husbands. That's actually cool! That's neat that, like, it, it was already, like, a little bit of, like, lore, because it's like, ah, future husbands and stuff. Get him. But, like, to actually have one of the, like, uh lore stones like continue it and give it like a myth like not really a mythological but like a historical I guess like tradition it's actually really cool like that feels like that would be a normal like beginning to a tradition that genuinely feels like something that would naturally occur. That's actually really, really cool. So yeah, this is a very nice, like, quest idea. And I guess I'll... Huh. The pro main problem is, like, I guess, like, uh, we can, like, search around here jump down and like just generally try to oh because wait a minute i think that's yeah that's like the beginning of the the trek up to zora's domain i think well, at least it's down there somewhere there you are so it's kind of wrong Okay, just wanted to make sure there wasn't an errant Korok down there. You never know. Random standalone rocks. History of the Zora Park 2, a reservoir of hope, as told by King Dorfam. Once every ten years, the Neru region experiences unusually heavy rainfall. The Zora River flooded every time. The tides damaged not only our domain, but our people, washing away poor souls and causing great suffering and disarray. 
The Zora king of that time, after seeking out aid from the king of Hyrule, rode out to see what could be done. By joining the architectural genius of the Zora and the Hyrule's technological prowess, East Reservoir Lake was swiftly built. Thanks to this fruitful partnership, Hyrule was no longer plagued by these devastating floods. In gratitude, the Zora king promised the king of Hyrule to manage the reservoir level to protect all of Hyrule from floods. Each Zora king has kept this oath, spanning 10,000 years. That is why the reservoir signifies our bond with Hyrule. And yet a bunch of old curmudgeons are like, Meh, we hate the Hyrulians. They're a bunch of bitches. Nah. I wonder, do I have to like it? Because... It just says search for. So I don't think like we have to do anything special. Just read them. Because it's not like counting down or anything. So I don't know. So I'm gonna begin my... Well, actually, no. This isn't a beginning to... Well, I guess it's the beginning to, like, the actual Zora's Domain part? I for... Well, no, because there are... Lanterns. Zora Lanterns. So I don't know, like, when, like, the first might have begun. Because this is the Zoro River. And the Inogo Bridge is of the same architecture. And that one said it was History Part 2. But I guess it seems to be majorly over here. So I will continue my adventure over here. I forget. Did I actually pull you out? Or... Darn, I'm not close enough. So I have to fly. Did I pull you out, or... Or what? Apparently not. There was just a... Normal-ass... Treasure chest waiting for me that entire time, and I... Didn't even look for it. Didn't see it, and... The rains blocked out all my vision. Alright, the plan is search for all of them and read them all. Because this one is a little odd because it's not actually keeping track. It does not seem. <laughs> also a bit odd that they like put a bunch of their like glorious historical texts in weird places. Then again, this place has been around for... Well, no. Because these are all as told by King Dorfin. So they're... Not all that much... Like... Blah, blah, blah. Delete pin and mark. So let's see. What one are you? Part one, we already read you. Because the ultimate plan is to just look around and ensure that we're not missing any. This place is like a big old mountainous range. And again, I don't know how it technically counts. Let me check and see. Are you marked? That's the same one. Just want to make sure I see it. I want to mark it. Make sure. It's getting very dark out. And still at the same time very bright. Under the light of the moon, I presume. Because the one problem with, like, searching for these texts is they can be basically anywhere up here. Guess we might try to climb over to those luminous stones. Could also be used as a 
potential like looky loo place. And that's a smashable. Do we have our hammer still? We do still have our hammer. We do indeed. Hammer time! Lots of ammo. This one has gold friend. We got sapphire, and my sledgehammer is dying. Sadness. I don't know where in the land to search for more hammer. Maybe I could substitute an axe? Just like heavy weapon, two handed. Come to me, hot footed frog. Apparently, you are worth like a hundred rupees. Unless I tried to sell you, then it's probably just like five. Guess I'll destroy these barriers. What were they trying to defend against? Come to think of it. From my YouTube chat, hello, hello! Oh, these aren't luminous. I thought they were luminous. Just hold out. Oh, wait, no, these are luminous. It's just not bright out. Huh. Right now, we are trying to search for all ten of the Zora-like story stones for one of the elders. I've already marked a few. One, two, three. I don't know. That's not one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me double check. Three, four, five, six, seven. Then there's maybe one over here, so which makes eight. We're looking all over for them. Yeah, because we already got that one. And if we can find ten luminous stones for the sculpture guy, why not? It depends if, like, like what ones are counted, what ones aren't. Like the addendum one, talking about Prince Sidon. Technically also, hmm, I think we came up from down there that led to, like, this one down here. Quick double check. Yep, we already saw you, I barely believe. Darn. Still got one. But yeah, since... Like, I'm not exactly sure what the game wants of them. Like, if I just need to read them all and then return, or do I need to... I don't think I need to take pictures of them because nothing seemed to come up when I... Like, diddly D pointed a camera at him. Don't think I've read that one before. But I should be able to make it back on. Over we go. I do not believe I've read that one. Just know that I've marked it. Oh, hey, lots of frogs and lizards. But I'm not sneaky, so I can't pick them all up. History of the Zora Part 4, The Light Scale Trident, as told by King Dorfin. The queen and I were blessed with a daughter as lovely as a jewel. We named our princess Mipha. To celebrate her birth, the smithy Dinto presented Mipha with a gift, a mighty spear called the Light Scale Trident. Mipha grew into a bright girl and soon reached the age of receiving lessons from the royal family's order of knights. The whole of the royal guard adored her, especially Sergeant Sagan, who loved her as if she were his own kin. Under Sagan's instruction, Mipha honed her skills, and her radiance grew along with her skill with the light-scale trident. 
As a champion, Mifa made her people proud. However, once the great calamity struck, she was never to return. All of Zora's domain fell into misery. The merest thought of the princess was enough to overcome anyone with tears. As a way of offering her soul repose, they tried to send the light-scale trident drifting down the Zora River. But when they did, the trident began to glow, and Mipha's voice rang out loud and clear for all Zora to hear. The light-scale trident and I are one. Abandon your grief and no joy once again. Do not cry. Just remember. And so, keeping to her request on the day of the great calamity, the day that Mipha passed from this world, the Zora venerate the light-scale trident and remember their brave princess. Such is the origin of the Champion Festival. Well, that just adds, like, a... Like, bigger aspect to... Like, them giving Link the light-scale trident. Let's see. Alright, so now we just need to still make up our way around here to search for any more. Have I grabbed these before? They're a mystery! Swift Violet. Might as well take a picture. Because why not? Like, I'm not going to fully go for the compendium completion, but might as well a little bit. That was a hidden one? Or did I just lightly blow it up? Give me that amber. Oh, hey, a blow apple Leads to a chest. What is inside? More money! I gotta keep an eye out along the way as I walk. In case there's like a hidden stone. I mean, I guess I could, like, if I really wanted to, like, look up the answers, but that feels a little bit lame. To look up the locations. It depends if it's funky or not. If it's like, aha, you have found them all, but we're not going to activate for some reason. Then again, it could be that I misunderstand it. Like I did the initial, like, light scale trident shrine quest. So I know there's one down here. I have you mocked. We've already read this one. Again, it would be nice if it. The quest actually, like, tracked it. Unless, again, I'm just doing it incorrectly. Like, if it actually tracked, like, ah, you read this one, therefore it's activated. Because I don't know if it's, like, me doing something wrong, or if it's, like... It's like a Schrodinger's quest. Are you doing it right? Are you doing it wrong? I will not tell. No one will ever know. <laughs> then again, this is an addendum, so we'll have to go find the Prince Sidon one. So it'll be possible that the remaining stones are actually closer to Zora's domain than I think. Because there is, again, that Prince Sidon one that we don't have marked. But I know that I read. Hmm. 
part of it is just like wondering where would more of these be placed? Because I'm fairly certain that we already marked that one. Because it should be that. I'll have to look over there. Then it's entirely possible that there's like one placed around the the dam, maybe. That I missed. Entirely possible. There are these various piers at the Reservoir Lake. Doesn't look like there's a place for one of the diddly -dees. Doesn't look like it, doesn't look like it. Still wonderful architecture. Speed of sound. Yeah, there's just more smashables. And we already read you. Fairly certain. Yeah, because it's the kind of worn away a hero addendum. I guess I'll go find and mark the Sidon one that's over here up towards Plymouth. Or Polymus or whatever. The Lionel Mountain of Shock Arrows. Should probably put on my sneak clothes. So I can gather <laughs> the moving resources a bit more. I wonder if I could talk to him again and he'll give me an update of like how many he considers I've talked or like how many I've I've found. Might as well since we're here. Then we'll head like that way because I think that's where the that one is. And there might be one hidden around there similarly. Perhaps, perhaps. Let's see, let's what do you gotta say, Giotto? Let's see, what's wrong? Unable to find all stone monuments. I can perhaps tell you location of a stone monument you have yet to investigate. Tell me! Oh. Try to remember. Roll, roll the dice, toss. Got it! It's in this area ah. here, at the southeastern cliff of Upland Zorana. Southeastern Upland Zorana. Mm -hmm. No thanks. Oh. oh, two left. So Upland Zorana. So kind of where I was expecting. But I still want to go this way to, like, for myself, mark where that Sidon one is. But good to know that technically it is keeping track, just not in the actual, like quest thing itself, which is a little weird. But yeah, the southeastern cliff of Upland Zorana. Wish we could talk, but I have monument finding to do. I'm fairly certain that there was a monument up I know there was. There was a monument that said, told the tale of Prince Sidon heading to a fishing village. Oh, hey. Like, heading to a fishing village 
because it was plagued by a giant Octorok. And how he cut himself out of the Octorok after it swallowed him. But I don't recall where I read it. But I did see a Korok puzzle up here. So away we go. Hmm. We'll do the Korok puzzle. Then maybe use this superior advantage. Look down, because I know I read it down there somewhere. Give me that. And then give me your Korok seed. Because I know I, like, I thought I read it. Oh, it might have been up there. Because I did do the, like, go to Toto Lake first. So we'll quickly put on the... Deer armor that Mifa created for us. And then we'll head up, because I know that it was somewhere-ish around here. Unless it was closer to Ploymus Mountain. And ascend! Like, I know it's primarily for gameplay purposes, but it's still very kind of them to make it so going up the waterfall doesn't take your stamina. That would be very rude. I'm going to check out this section, because this seems like a walkable area away from that little lake, so potential for a monument to be placed over here. You never know. You can't trust nothing. Can't trust nothing in this bitch of a world. But, uh, doesn't look like it. fly up the next one to doubly make sure. Then we'll probably fly down to take the path closer to Upland Zorana and see if there are any like going to the up left from Zora's domain. Aha! Mark it there for a more accurate pen. I knew that there was one over here. I knew it. This should uh, this should be the Prince Sidon addendum. Yep, Prince Sidon's great escape. Already read that last time. Oh man, I darn you. I am the fool. Wish there was a way to, like, super skip the dialogue. Fool what I am. Spamming buttons. Get my stamina back, fly down follow that path around and search for any, and then southeastern like kind of area of Upland Zorana is where he said it was. Plus I can kind of glance around from up here. See if I can potentially see any. Again, there's a giant waterfall. So 
So hmm, doesn't look like there's any like placement for a monument over there. Then again, maybe there's a monument at the top of the tall waterfall. Glancing around. I wonder what these like little basins are for. Traps for me, presumably. Whenever I see like a small inlet kind of wall area, I'm just like, is there a flat surface with writing? When inevitably, no, there is not. Slow climb. All right, now we just need to be on the lookout for more monuments. We went to the left, and I don't remember seeing any, so we're gonna go to the right. If there even is much to go to the right. More than likely, well, there seems like to be diff decent amount of, like, cliff faces up here. We just might have to do some climbing. Try and find it. Because you never know where it might be. The one downside to me not having grabbed stamina. I guess I'll take the big waterfall up. Because... That would give me, like, better access to kind of, like, glance around Upland Zorana. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I need to do some silly stuff to get up there. I need to do some cryonics. get closer and then jump up it because this is a very powerful waterfall. Demand sacrifices of all men. God, imagine if there was somebody like, I'm going to climb this waterfall, but like with, uh, with the cryonis stuff. Because <laughs> you could probably do it. I'll turn into a magical dragon. Hmm, because they said, like, the cliffs, like, uh, the southeastern cliffs of Upland Zorana. So, like, up and to the right. Is the way I interpreted it. And we can get more shiny rock. We should be able to have the 10 we kind of need. Here I thought that that would be a quest that took a bit longer. Isn't even telling me this is weak yet. How dare you awaken your eyes. Hmm. Well, you're about to break anyway. I'll take Zora's spear. The one downside is, I'm not sure, like, how deep into Upland Zorana they would place a monument slab. Because he said... Wait, 
north, south, southeastern. I might have to go double check with them. And also if I'm remembering my cardinal directions properly. But like still could be there probably. So that's what I feel is the more probable. Get from above. Let's get poked. Let's get poked, idiot. Hmm. Well, actually. And it's raining too, so we need to be extra careful now. But if he said southeastern. Oh! I see. Coming in from above. Huzzah! And just. Bop. From YouTube chat. Hello, Neon. Also, what did I miss last time? Last time, we mostly finished off. Like, uh, we beat Varuta, put Mipha's soul to rest, and just, uh, we did a shrine quest. So right now I'm just trying to do a few more quests around Zora Domain before moving on. Memoir of a Gifted Stonemason. What an honor it was to receive a personal request from King Dolphin to craft a historical stone monument. I did not realize how much content he'd give me, though. It certainly exceeded the line limits of a single monument. I suppose I could have just shortened the text, but it felt wrong to tamper with our king's great words. Thankfully, I was able to split it all between seven monuments to ensure that every word was preserved. I've always prided myself on my ability to think outside the box. I'm so very adaptable and humble as well. While it was at, I thought, why not add two of my own? And so I created one for King Dolphin and one for Prince Sidon. True, this is outside the scope of my commission, but I believe that triumphs deserve as much. But why stop at that? Why, indeed, my achievement surely deserves remembrance, too. This is how a commission of one became ten. Of course, having increased the number of monuments, I had to find places for them all. That proved difficult. Still, it is worth it, so long as I remember to sign these monuments, as my name will be remembered forever, as it should be. And then he forgot to sign his name. What an idiot. <laughs> you completed the giant elephant. That I did. And now we are looking for one more stone monument, I believe. But luckily, this guy gives hints, which is very nice. I do believe that he said last time we were at two remaining, so what now, old man? Please. I won't need to roll the dice of hearts for this one. The remaining one is here. Oh. In the eastern grove of Zobodon Hi Zodabon Highlands. Eastern grove. Mm -hmm. No thanks. Ah. All right. Zodabon Highlands. Eastern grove. So probably around there-ish. I presume. Just wander around Zobadon Highlands. But yeah, basically, this time, I wanted to, to, like, really take in Breath of the Wild. So that's why I'm actually doing this quest for the first time. And then... Because uh, uh, there is also the quest of that one Zora's wife who got washed away that I need to look for. But I think we might hold off on that one because then we've been we'll we have been spending a long time here in the Zora's domain. Almost an hour. If only I knew that I could just talk to the guy and he'll be like, Oh, yes, I can give you the rough approximate location of ones you haven't done yet. Oh, that would have cut down on my search time so much. So, so much. Yeah, 
it doesn't look like there's anybody down there. So maybe she got washed down deeper. <laughs> really take in Breath of the Wild. You could say you need to take a second to breathe. <laughs> Yeah, mostly I just want to really take in the game because, again, I do want to replay Age of Calamity and then also play Tears of the Kingdom for the first time. So by really trying my best to do all the things that interest me, I think will help me really, really enjoy the game. Even if it is distracting me from Persona 3. <laughs> I swear I'll get back to it. It's just that this game is a lot easier for me to just off the cuff do. Whereas for some reason, Persona 3 just feels a lot more... Like draining. Fun, but draining. Yeah, because there's a shrine down there we also need to do. Eastern Grove of Zobodon Highlands. Hell, it could actually be up there in the basin that the elephant took place, uh, took residence in. All right, Neon, three remains. The Lizard on Volcano, Big Bird, and then Thunderous Camel. Yep. Most definitely. Oh, hey, an explodable. Ooh, we got new. And a ruby, and a sapphire, hell yeah. The main thing is, I don't know if, like, uh, Link turned into a goat there. <laughs> just running along the edge. The main thing is, just I don't know how, like, valuable those things are. If I should just sell them, or... Well, let's see. Uh-huh. ba -da. Slightly altered orientation mess on my head there. But I got it. But we also need to find the sword in the forest. And also hope that I have enough hearts to pick up the sword in the forest. But he said Eastern Grove of Zobodon Highlands. Like, will it be? Aha! There you are! And I shall. Hey, kind of nearby where I marked it. My rough approximations stand tall. History of the Zora, Part 5. The sage Princess Ruto, as told by King Dorfan. Hey! Princess Ruto! Ocarina of Time mention. Long, long ago, in a past more distant than even the Great Calamity, or the creation of the divine beast Varuta, there was a Zora princess named Ruto. We know that she was an attendant to the Zora patron deity, and that she was a fair and lively girl, beloved to all. Around that same time, an evil man with the designs on ruling the world appeared, bringing disaster upon Zora's domain. It is said that Ruto then awoke as a sage, facing this foe alongside the Princess of Hyrule and the Hero of Legend. Her achievements are remembered not only by the Zora, they are also forever etched into the history of Hyrule. The divine beast Varuta, built ages later to face off against Calamity Ganon, was named in the honor of Ruto. The prince Zora Princess, my sweet daughter Mipha, was chosen to pilot Ruta, is surely the work of fate. Aha! Still wish that the uh, actual quest like ticked down a bit more. Like actually kept track rather than because like it obviously was keeping track because that guy was. It just in the actual document wasn't it, which is a little weird. Just a little bit weird. 
<laughs> Link is a goat, both an acronym and in diet. And apparently, wall climbing capability. Ah uh, yes, this wall is 179 degrees. Or whatever. Thus truly he can climb. <laughs> oh wait, I think we actually have enough. Oh. Yes, hello! Did you have something for me? Here are the stones. Oh, thank you! You're really giving me ten luminous stones? It actually wasn't that hard to find them all. In that case, please excuse me while I count them. Oh. And well, one, Ooh. and a two, Ooh. and a three, Ooh. a four, Ooh. five, Ooh. six, Ooh. seven, Ooh. eight, Ooh. nine, Ooh. and ten. Ooh. Oh my, you really brought all ten. Thank you. Yes, I will happily take these luminous stones from oh. you. Oh, that's right. I must reward you. And a diamond? Hell yeah. <laughs> and what's more, I'll give you one extra as a bonus. Ooh! This guy is amazing. You're a lifesaver, truly. Ooh. If you ever find yourself in possession of ten luminous stones in the future, I hope you will bring them to me. So you are an infinite fountain? An infinite fountain of diamonds? My dude? <laughs> really? This is possible? <laughs> Thank God this Zora taught me how to count. <laughs> I would be honored if you would accept it when the time comes. Booyah! Okay, great. So, that is just money making central. I think. Because I think luminous stones are less than 100 each. So, turn them all in for a 1 500 diamond. Like, even then, diamond, I think, is an upgrade material or something. It's used for stuff, it's rare. Link, you would see me have checked all the stone monuments for me. Now then, please tell me what was written on them. My memory, even though terrible, is actually great. Ah. Mm, the history, culture, folklore, and various heroic acts of a proud Zora people. It's all here. Eureka! Thanks to you, I've compiled the precious information from those stone monuments. Like, uh, have you actually compiled them all, or, uh... Was it me? I was the one that was doing the compiling. You're just gonna write them down. Just make sure to write down your name, too. Unlike that poor war uh, stone carver. <laughs> Link, thank you for taking on such an arduous task. Please allow me to reward you. And another diamond. This is just everybody giving me a diamond ring. Then again, they kind of mirrored each other. Ten stones, ten stones. They all kind of matched up. All right, now what we'll do is we will run down here, get this shrine, teleport to Hatino Bay, give the kid his sword. Oh, we can travel to it. That'll give me a diddly dee. Uh, Princess Ruta. Well, Princess Ruto. <laughs> She's a Zora character from the main story of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yep, a fan favorite. <gasps> Funnily, like, I think I subconsciously recognized that Ruta was similar to Ruto. But... Just never, like, clicked until I actually got there and read that. I'll quickly glance around. I wonder if the Divine Beasts are still there in Tears of the Kingdom. I think that would be neat. Like, obviously not to traverse or climb in, but just, like, still be there, existing. I think that would be neat. The downside is I have to... Walk around this giant diddly -de circle. We'll fly down to the shrine there. I also need to remember that this is just prime. Oh, darn. Just prime mining.
darn. Like, I don't... I wonder what the rate for getting, like, a... What's the word? Uh, like a diamond out of one of these things is. Probably super duper rare. Or, like, requires a very specific one. That's the kind of thing that I would think requires a specific... Well, Korok. And easily mineable rocks. We'll do this. We'll do the Korok. Then we'll go do the shrine. This halberd is lasting a long time. And right as I say it, I jinxed it. All right, Korok. Give me a seed. That I did. Then again, how screwed up is it that all those guys stole from... Well, I, I presume stole from Hestu. Yoinked it all out of his, like, diddly d maracas. Well, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of guys here. I feel like I'm flying against the wind. We were! Jesus! Sneak attack. Oh, didn't even kill you. Jesus. And a strengthened Lizalbo. Go into silence. Silence and die. And I need to remember the non-sparkly ones are the ones that have already been used. Oh. I keep forgetting how freaking fast you guys are. I don't even know what the hell I hit. Then I follow up with the bomb. Darn, he dodged it. No. I think that was from his... Oh, I think that was mine. For a moment there, I thought, oh my god. That uh, the enemy over there almost decapitated me. I'm gonna keep one of these because I need a shield that doesn't conduct electricity. For when lightning comes down. You're gonna turn around, are you? Good, continue on your way. I'll get up right behind you. After all the walking. How dare you walk really fast with your stubby little legs. Get sneaked! Let's see. I will equip you. You are definitely better. Then we shall drop you and grab you. And uh, now we need to, well, first we have to go around to kill that guy. Because he'll harass us all day, every day, as we try to get in through the diddly D. I'll see if I can blow up the spikes, but we probably won't be able to. One way we might, but well, it's raining, so... My plan was, oh, we'll build up a, a cryonis block. But let's see. Will bomb work? That's kind of stupid. <laughs> these are piddly little stone... Well, not even stone spikes. Are these stone? No, they're wood. How dare... Like, maybe I'd be able to burn them. But now I don't want to waste a fire arrow. First shrine of the stream. Let's go. Remember to stay hydrated, dear peoples. Again, I'd still like that the divine beasts get added to the loading screen as you do them. 
Well, Neon, it was fun popping in and saying hi, but I gotta go now. Hope your stream goes well, and thank you for joining me. Hope whatever you need to do goes well. <laughs> and uh, more in chat. Nope, the Divine Beasts aren't in Tears of the Kingdom, even though it's a direct sequel. Eh, that's a little disappointing, but I guess also makes sense to a degree. Now, I know that, like, the proper way to do this is, uh... I think by, yeah, turning them, but... I'm gonna quickly just get all the treasure chests down. A silver bow, which is at 15 damage. Better than you. Yoink! Come over here. And opal. Nice. Ah, I still will have to turn them because of that water one. Okay, now we shall be able to... Fire arrow, fire arrow. Triple check, because I probably missed... Who needs to do your silly little puzzle when I can just fire arrow? Mwahaha. -ha. Now let me see, anything treasury in the depths? No. Good. Now give me your orb! <laughs> Gotta build up my orb collection to get stamina. And then pray that ten hearts is enough. <laughs> it's hard to hear footsteps when it's raining. I think it's hard to hear everything when it's raining. Oh, there's a creepy guy. We can try and go stab him before going all our way to Hatino Village. Fear not the spikes. Fear the man who doesn't fear the spikes. Turn around. Oh, darn. Oh, that actually hit me. Finally get out of here. Might as well flip over to this so I can see your help. Uh, okay. Darn. Go fly it. Again, I feel like a bit more fall damage would be nice. Would be nice. Would be nice. Now you have nothing! I 
Interesting how it still seems to be a green tail, even though he was very much not green. Then again, he was green with a blade, just flailing all around. And now I can take that treasure chest stamp off. We will fly to Hatino Village. Maybe see if that... What's it called? The, 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 the house builder guy was there. He was not there in the morning when I went there the first time. We'll try and find the kid and be like, Hey, we brought you your stupid sword. But on we go. To the land Hatino. And it's even raining here! Is this done to punish me? Where is the house guy? Well, maybe we should read the notice board. A new age of comfort, bolts and construction homes. Ooh, is quality from every seam. Explore our model homes today. They're like not even here. Maybe they're over here, maybe? Not just this guy again. Where is your boss? Hi. Oh, there's another guy working. What are you doing? You haven't been abandoned, agreed to a demolish. The owner left for the diddle dee. <laughs> and who are you, bull cut man? What are you doing? I'm knocking this place down. Why? Because no one's living here. Why? The owner of this house took off. Why? Mm. Don't know. Maybe you skipped town for paying bills? Oh. Answered all your questions? Yes. Good. A lot has happened since the great calamity. Tough to keep track of it all. Right. <laughs> for all the first time since we... Then, we're finally getting back on our feet. Good. <laughs> so best of luck to the both of us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll sit behind here this entire time. Mm. Hey. Need something from me? What are you doing? In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are rough, not a lot of buyers, you know. So the villagers decided it was best to just tear it down. I can buy it! Oh, Well, get a load of young money bags. Just wants to buy it, huh? Okie do. Let me lay it out for you. See this house? Been vacant for years. So the villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. The demolition costs, with associated fees, permits, and other such details, come in at 50,000 rupees. Mm. So when you say you want to buy it, you're talking about 50,000 rupees. You got that much? Impossible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Figured. When I was your age, I had serious money problems too, so I know how it feels all too well. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right, look. Here's the deal just for you. I've got a special price of 3,000 rupees. But in return, I'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles, building materials, you know how it is. Anyway, you understand the terms, then get to it. And show me that what you're built out of. That's a construction joke. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hudson, Carson, stop what you're doing. Oy. You got it. <laughs> Might as well. I was going to climb this to try and get the apples, but it's bloody raining. I know where to get the wood. How much money I got? Not much. But I do have like a decent, like a decent amount of stuff to sell. I also need to, like, explore this place more. Patino Village is cool. I haven't really explored it all that much. What the hell are you? Oh, you're that evil statue, aren't you? It even has dark ooze. <sighs> so there are still some. Pay homage to me. You can talk? You don't say. You can hear my voice? Yes. Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life, wealth like so many of your kind. Whatever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. 
She trapped me in this stone statue long, long ago. The villagers here yeah. call me the horn statue and don't even bother to wipe away the bird droppings. One would think years upon years such treatment would have made me mend my ways. One would think wrongly. I've only been biding my time for the moment someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. But I've said enough. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Then stay that way, no further action on your part is required. You stole from me? My hard earned aluva money! My heart money! <laughs> My touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. I uh, give? What's wrong? Have your prayers gone unanswered? Give it back. <laughs> Did you think I deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So it shall it be. As I may have mentioned once or twice, I'm a dealer in life and power. I can provide a valuable service to you. I take heart containers or stamina vessels from you. And then for a prize, return whichever of the two you like. Give me a heart back. A wise choice. Now remain still. I have made a horrible decision for this voice. I'm going lightheaded. I need to... Yeah. But, well, he gave me my heart back. And that's one way to heal. You look skeptical. Not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. If you're ready to begin, first you must sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to 120. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose which one I return to you. A heart container or a stamina vessel. I am eager to help you tamper with your essence any time you want to return and pray here. I actually really like that. That's a cool mechanic. It's also something that you can just entirely miss. But it's super cool. Because it means that you can come here whenever. And swap out all the things. Yeah. Hey, mister. What is it, buddy? You never guess what I found when I see. Sure I do. Okay, follow me. But that's a really nice mechanic so that you can alter your, like, like personal play style even if, like, it costs a little bit of money. Oh, are you actually, you're going to show me the horned statue after I found it, didn't you? Yeah, I already found this. Are you a worshipper of evil? Aww. Um, were you talking to that statue? Well... Wow! You won't talk to statues weird. Okay, see ya. I guess if I had found him first and talked to him first, he would have informed me of light history of the statue. Just like, this is a weird statue. You say oi? What is it? Hello. Kind of dreary weather today, but General Store Extraordinary East Wind is open and extra lively. Go take a look. Sells a bunch of stuff. Here's a general store. I thought that would actually be a special thing. Oh, oh a customer. I didn't even hear you come in. Sorry about that. I trust everything is as after I left it. Nah, I don't see anybody stealing anything. Oh. Alrighty, so what can I do you for? I have things to sell. Alrighty, let's take a look. Let's see. Because now that I know I have like an infinite thing of these, if I bring in luminous stones... Like, uh... Because I do want to buy that house. I do want to buy it. 
Let's see. Since these are relatively easy, I'll sell five. Oh. Hilarious that I can buy these for a hundred, but sell them for pittance. Let's see. Because I'm definitely not going to sell big things like that. Lots of money. Oh, hey, we actually have a lot of wood, all things considered. Let's see. So I'll get to selling some of these. Huh. And then maybe sell one diamond to try and get to that 3,000, even though that's going to be a lot of money for a house. Huh. Like, then again, maybe I could just put this off and, like, uh, sell more of these. No, like, yeah, I probably even... I should not sell the, the diamonds, because I can just make more of these. Huh. And they go for 120 each. Oh. Everybody is rich but me. They can just buy oh. everything I sell. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Sell some monster parts just for quickie quickie. Oh. I wonder what these people do with these things. I guess I could sell, like, one sapphire since I found it, but... Ah. I could probably go for, like, the very easy things I can always get more of. Huh. So, yeah, who needs to sell diamonds? That's the quick way. Who are you? No. You want to know who I am? Well, you can just call me Pruce. I'm the shopkeeper of East Wind here. I've got a wife, daughter, and son. We're pretty much your typical family. Need anything else? I should really actually, like, take a look around at this place. Hey. But first things first, I need to try and look for that kid. <laughs> and also, like, check in on... What's his name? Manny? Are you the kid that wanted the sword? Oh. No. Hey, hey, hey! Have you seen this one? Ba 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 I don't think I've seen it. ba <laughs> ha <laughs> lame. I'll do it again. Watch carefully this time. I can't teach me. You gotta pay attention, okay? ba 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 Shaquin, never seen it before. Interesting. <laughs> Even in the rain, still gotta check everyone out. You need something? Are you checking? Just checking out the beauties. I mean tourists, or I mean suspicious folk. That's what I mean. Well, if we're gonna talk about beauties, though, no one can hold account of Prima, you know. They say the princess of Hyrule Castle, who lived a hundred years ago, was super pretty too. Maybe she could have given Prima a run for her money. Or beauty, but that's the level we're talking about here. Hmm. Then again, if I bought that house for like a thousand... Like, I don't think I've ever bought the house either. Anything on this bulletin board? <laughs> Thanks for dealing with those monsters at Tino Beach. Now she even set out a, a public note announcement. Oh, hey! Just stop. Hello, dude. Hi! You've got a, the look of a traveler. Is this the first time in Hatino Village? Well, you're in luck because you have a love, lifelong resident to show you around. It's raining. My philosophy is if it rains on you, then you were meant to be wet. If you share my outlook on life, then why not let me show you around? Sure. Ah. Okay, let's get, as, get you a good old-fashioned dose of Hatino hospitality. The shop is my, in my daughter's capable hands these days, so I've got a lot of time on my hands. I thought it might be nice to do a good turn for the village where I was born and raised, so I volunteered as a tour guide. Stick with me, and I'll show you around the best part of this place. <laughs> in fact, in just a minute, I'll show you something really special. Ominous! 
then I'll come back in and see, like, maybe buy that armor, depending. Just to have the full fashion, <laughs> fashion go around. But at the same time, gotta admire his, like, philosophies. This is the general store, East Wind. They sell a lot of everyday goods, and even some everyday greats. And now, on with the tour. I need to find, like, a... A cooker that I can activate to make more big, big, big things. Oh. <laughs> this is Kochi Dye Shop, known for their Hatino dyeing. They'll dye your clothes whatever color you like. And now on with the tour. I wonder if he just refuses to, like, uh, dye the champion tunic. Or if it's impossible to dye. Because I don't know, dyeing it a different color seems sacrilegious. <laughs> this is Ton Inn. If you need to sleep overnight, then this is the place. And now on with the tour. You know, you don't have to super run everywhere. You can... You can go at a leisurely pace. That's part of what makes tours kind of nice. Oh, that's kind of cool. The NPCs can trip over one another. Uh, this is the clothing store, Ventus Clothing. They sell... Well, I'm sure you can guess what they sell. To be straight with you, this is actually my store. So come hang out when you've got some time. Stock up here first before heading over to Kochi Dai Shop. Uh, Whew, I'm pretty much beat. Let's call this the end of the tour, yeah. Just don't have the pep for tour guiding like I used to. I see you had pretty good. Yeah. Hello, Vintage Clothing is open even to those who travel in the night. Did you need something? Hmm. What is this place? Mm. Hold on just a second. Okay, let's see here. Thank you for waiting. We're a clothing shop with lots of apparel to choose from. Normal wear to adventure wear, you'll find it wear right here. Do you need anything else? I won't offend her by being like, you like this corner. I think that's just rude. <sighs> Only 250 for this. And these are unupgraded too. Because let's see. 200, 450. So about 600 rupees for all this. Mm -hmm. I'll buy. Oh, but actually, what's this? Oh, the warm doublet. I already, oh, I already have one. <laughs> all those fools who probably didn't do the quest back on the diddly D. Meanwhile, there's me. And then, like, if you, like, didn't find... Like, I forget. Where did I find these? I know I bought them at a different place. What store? Oh, yeah, I think I just bought them at Kakariko Village. Well, I guess I should probably just go in... Go into the inn, sleep. Guess I could spend some of the time, put down a flint and whack it. Let's see. Where's the flint in here? There we go. Or do I not have any... Of our the big things I like. Well, I do have hearty truffles to do at the very least. So, yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like all I have is hearty truffles. Don't have any of my normal big radishes. I thought I had like one, but I guess not. Let's see. Let's do some cooking. Huh. 
Huh, I'll have to see how well that actually sells. Because that's only a one. So it's entirely possible that that will sell for under a hundred. Proving that the hearty radishes are ever superior. The day is done, but we can still do things. No, that still sells for a hundred. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna make all my little truffles into those for both like healing purposes and like, hmm, actually fuck. And it already went out. That's mean. How oh dare. You dare do this to me? You dare make me throw down yet another flint? It didn't even... Bastard. Fine. Why must the world be cruel? Why must all be hate? Everything is evil. I destroy this pot by throwing it at you. It is me, the menace of society. I wonder. Like, even though that's gonna cost me yet another flint, because it's gonna go out because the world is mean. I have to know. Can this one apple, one truffle be selled for a full 100? Because if so, that would be great. Infinite money oh. hack. Nope, they want all the apples. Interesting. But at the same time, full restore, that's a cheap way to get, like, a lot of stuff. But also it seems like meat goes better than those. Actually, let's see. Ah. We'll just sell a few. Uh -huh. Come down here. Sell that. Whoa. And still like the one apple, one hearty truffle is still a great, like, recovery device. Sure, it doesn't give me five billion bonus health. And we don't, I'm not even gonna bother. I will, hmm. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Maybe if I buy the house, I'll have a place to infinitely rest. Ah. That outfit you're wearing, it looks so dashing, so heroic. Oh, my outfit? It's so lovely, isn't it? Actually, I had this custom made. This isn't weird at all to you, is it? Two strangers on the road praising one another's impeccable taste? Nah, not really. Granted, it's not even really a road. We're just here. I'm gonna go into the forest. I'm going to throw about a bunch of bombs. But first things first. I'm going to add hardy radish to my sensor. Since we're going into the forest anyway, why not? Hi. I do not know the purpose of your journey, but there is a place I recommend you pay a visit to. Deep in the recesses of Mount Lineru lies the Spring of Wisdom. It is storied spring which I am making a pilgrimage. I think we ran into you before. Time for deforestation. After we talk to this guy. Yep. 
Give me your meat. Right. Here's the truth straight from the horse's mouth. The only thing I'm good at for is horses and horse facts. Take this for instance. Did you know that you can shoot arrows from horseback? It's a good option if you want to pop a few shots off without any monsters getting any swings at you. Yep. One shot those guys. Oh, it's beautiful. What you doing out here? Wait. Why is there sparkle noises? Is it just you? Are you the sparkle noises? Is that sparkle noise? Maybe it is her. Oh, but there's a hardy rider that away, apparently. If I can't have that meat, neither can you. Need a lot of building materials. So I guess like some of these weapons are like special. One second, I want to check this out. I said I want to check this out. Yeah, it's just durability up. Huh. At least that explains what that noise was. It was the weapon. Try to bomb me with my own bomb, you fool. We must just explode all these trees, get wood for the bees. And then we can buy a house for like extremely cheap. That bomb almost came out. Okay, it got back up to me. <laughs> that guy, he knew it was coming. Be gone, bees. Down. Is that a house over there? Or is that just a stable? No, that's a house. Alright, Mark. We'll go look down there at some point. No rolling away, even if you are bundles of wood. Four more and we'll have thirty. Precisely what we require. But first, we grab this beetle. Be gone, Satan. And then we'll probably wander around just a little bit to try and find some of these hardy radishes. Those fools trying to find those truffles when radishes are where it's at. Yep. Who even needs like what's the word? The the axe when you have the bomb. Over oh, this way. Apparently it's all the way down in the ruins.
fine. Crap, I didn't even do much. You fiend. I was going to pick up some bugs, but you decided to be mean, so I could blow you up. Then we'll blow up this guy. Check that over there. Yep. Ah, is that like meant to be a shooting rain? Or is it like a hey, stop sign? Well, it's blown up either way. Give me your stuff. We'll go check that out after we kill this band of monsters. Yep. Yep. And I destroyed it. The world is full of pain. <laughs> And there's lots of wind, too. How dare you. Find this bomb. Where are you trying to run them from? No. Ah, they're trying to pick up shields. That's not going to help you. Yep. Because I have bombs. My bombs exceed your power. Even that, even though that is a big shield, did it grow to help you? What the hell? Physics! I have been physics attacked. The universe itself has come to fight me. Uh, that seems to be everything. We'll check out that house now. And then check up there. Although it says that there is stuff this way. The thing I desire. But it's out in the way from the forest. Well, it's an empty house with a chest. Ten arrows. Guess it makes sense. There's like a lot of targets around. And it's raining again. It is eternally raining. Was this like patched in? Where they're like, ah, there's too much climbing going on. Activate it. I wonder what you could be. You are not clever. Die. <laughs> now, let's see. Get my health up by eating fish. Oh, I, was, I thought those were birds for a second. No, they're just posts. Now, let's see. Well, let's teleport to Hatino. See if we can catch the child who wants... He wanted the sword. And I can at least get this out of my inventory if he'll be around that I can show him. Cutting grass. That's how I found all of those crickets. And it is still raining. Hmm. Wonder if I can go to the adventure log. Ah, he's down there, are oh, yeah. Stupid child, I will find you. You cannot escape me. Are you doing hard labor at the farm? Ah, he lives here. Oi! 
Hey. Hmm? Oh, isn't that a traveler's sword? So cool. Let me see. Go ahead. And then I stab him. Wow, it's exactly like the one in the books. Wow, I saw one just like that in a book. Thanks for letting me see. Take this as a thank you. Eh, not bad. I got from my grandpa, so think of it as a thank you from him. The next one. Aww. What should I... Hmm. Uh, got it. <laughs> have you heard of the fire rod? Don't have one of those right now. I wonder what the reward is for, like... Finding all the weapons for him. Well, I guess I'll go buy the house, get it out of the way. Else I'll constantly be like, oh, do I really want to spend money on armor when there's the house to buy? I have the money. I have the wood. It's apparently like a $50,000 value. But I'm going to guess that he also will be like, hey, you can get extras. Oh, hey, a hammer. Mine now. Mm. Hey, you ready to deliver the 30 wood? I'll pay you a price. Okie do. I'll grab them from you. <laughs> All I needed to see, good faith wood. You're obviously serious about this, and now I know it. So as promised, I'll sell you this old house for the low price of 3,000 rupees. Once you've got the money together, come grab me. Mm. Hi. Did you get that 3,000 rupees together? I'm ready. Seriously? You're really going to give me 3,000 rupees? Like, with three zeros? You aren't just posturing? I'll shell out. Oh. No way. Talk about studly. I'll just take that off your hands. And now I'm poor. Uh, Thanks for the sweet investment. Spending so much money on anything at your age. It's just so studly. There's a weapon mount in there that never sold. Consider it a housewarming gift. Hope you get some use out of it. Ooh. So next job time, baby. What I'd have lined up again? Oh yeah, that's what's next. I was going to send Hudson up Akala way to clear some land. You bought a house in Latino Village for 3,000 rupees. Bolson generously furnished a weapon rack inside your empty home as a housewarming gift. The place is still bare, though. If you talk to Bolson, you might be able to help with that. I don't even have a bed. I'm going to have to, like, sell more things. It's like he's sitting here because he knows. He knows that I need him. I almost selected eat. That would have been very bad. From YouTube chat. Hello, hello. I just bought a house. And that also means that I probably need to sell a decent amount of things to, like, actually furnish the place. So I'm going to try and make some things to make up some more money. I want to at least put like a bed in there. I don't know like the formula for good things. But we'll go do some selling. Because we have like 40 rupees and that's bad. I didn't even mean to buy this place. I was just like, oh yeah, where's that guy anyway? And then we found him and he's just like... 50,000 rupees. I wonder if there's a way to be like, actually get 50,000 rupees before you talk to him and then be like, surprise, 50,000 rupees. I don't even need to give you 30 wood. Oh. Just sell some of these. Oh. Because selling, like, makeables is far better uh -huh. than selling my diamonds. I might have, like, five diamonds now, but I don't want to sell them. They're mine. Oh. They're mine. 
and you'll never take them from me. Hmm. Now let's see how much furnishing the damn place costs. I'm going to, like, take all that guy's money. I'd be like, hey, food. He's like, oh my god, food. I m must give you, like, hundreds of rupees, because that is miracle food. It gives you more health than you started with. Yeah? What are you doing? Taking a break. By the way, did you buy that house? Yes. Impressive. You're just a pup. Considering Wolf Link in an alternate timeline, sure. Well, I guess technically same timeline, different placement. Uh, come again? Don't worry about it. Anyway. What? Looks like you gotta head out and leave this place soon. I've been transferred. Transferred. Might have heard, but Bolson Construction's planning to expand mid-time. That's great! Yeah, big expansion. Where will you go? Zoro's domain is north of here. We're going north of that, though. An area called Akalo region. That's pretty far. Yeah. Well, good luck. Okay, then. Well, no time like the present, right? I should be getting on my way. If you'd like, you should come to the Akalo region and say hello. Well, take care of yourself. And we'll never see him again. They even play, like, kind of sad goodbye music. Oh. Hi. So the Bubba sort of hit a personal milestone, huh? Time to get back and get leisurely, baby. Though you look a bit judgmental for such a fine moment. You're looking at me like we both keep working at it. Eh, you don't even have to say it. Oh, wow, I just bought a house and it's totally empty and depressing. <laughs> oh, sure, that's you to a T. I see it in your eyes. Yep, I was just like you about a lifetime ago. So tell you what, let me help about taking care of furniture exterior or anything, really, for 5,000 rupees. Actually, no, scratch that for you. Let's start at 100. Let's cruise on by whenever you take the spending cash and we'll talk. Thank God. I don't think I could handle getting another 5,000. I don't even have enough diamonds for that. Hi. Need some from me? Uh, Hudson. Oh. Good old Hudson. Wonder if everything's okay with him up in Akalaway. It's a nice enough region, but maybe all that cargo is a bit too heavy to travel with even for him. Need anything else? Build me something. What you want? Installations. What were you thinking? Bed. Oh. That'll be a hundred rupees, okay? I'm ready to pay up. Okie doo. Payments due up front. Okie do. Mm -hmm. Okie do. House, I'm coming for you. Hi. Carson, we are on. Ah. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> All this to make a bed. Well, I guess they are making a bed, so it makes sense. From YouTube chat, bro, Nintendo needs to hire you to voice for voice acting. So good, thank you very much. I wouldn't say no to voice acting for Nintendo. Well, it's really coming along. Take a look if you get a chance. Cause now I can sleep here whenever. Ah. Let's see, build me something. What's the house exterior? A sign of my name. Plant some flowers. Plant some trees. Never mind. Let's see, build me something. Installations. Door. Oh. Let's do it. And then maybe some gear s displays. And then what I could do <laughs> is like... Oh. Put extra... <laughs> oh, this is new. Carson, are we studs of stud work? You're darn tootin' we are! Oh. Yo! If I get, like, gear displays, I can put extra weapons in there, rather than throwing them about. Perfectly perfect. Practically perfect, if I do say so myself. I'm a little jealous. It is kind of funny that they're just here. And I can put anything here. Yeah, I think that works. Light scale trident. And then there's a bed up there. I still have some money. 
failed me something. Let's see, installations, lighting. Mm. Get to work, Bolson. Okie doo. <laughs> Time for some construction instruction. Hi. Carson, awaken your inner animal. We are beasts of construction. Ah. Been waiting. <laughs> Pretty flawless, if I do say so myself. You should take a look. Why not? There we go. It's a little bit less dreary in here. Oh. Build me! Gear displays! Well, actually, I do, like, prefer... Well, actually, hmm. Plant some flowers. Oh. And then I'll put some gear displays on. Well, I'll pay them to put some gear displays on. Mm. This work ain't doing itself. Oh. Carson, recall the time you dazzled me? Well, it's dazzling time again, baby. Oh. Right on. And now I have flowers. I just realized he has like a tiny hammer in his belt. <laughs> a little space. Let me get where I'm going before you talk to me. But I wanted to talk to you while you stood. Control the conversation. Let's see. Hmm, because what do I want? Shield mount would allow me to put away, like, my really big shield. But weapons, I think, are the more important thing. But, hmm. Bows I don't really care about. So one shield mount, one weapon mount. We'll start with the weapon mount. Mm. And really, these installations are pretty cheap, so I could probably just go sell some knickknacks. Oh, come back. Mm. Bolson Construction, what's our credo? With seven colors of paint, ah. buildings bloom like the spring. <laughs> and remember, everybody, stay hydrated. Well, it's really coming along. And you know what? Ceremonial trident. Because they're both very special to me. Mm. Build me something. Gear display. Shield mount. Oh. It would be funny if you could, like, install the weapons and shield mounts yourself for oh. cheap, but it takes, like, a decently a, a decent amount of time to actually do it yourself. I think that'd be funny. Hey. Boss in construction, what's our credo? If you can't pull the saw, then don't push it! <laughs> I like that there's, like, a different dialogue for every single thing. Now, where's that? Ah, here you are. I'm gonna put my big ol' shield there. Now I can come here and rest whenever. Although, if I wanted to, I could probably go and... Just, like... Finish, like, the exterior. What the fuck? An opal? Under a rock? What? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> um. 
the absolute madness of what? What doth thou mean? I do got to say. I wonder how good this sneaky elixir would sell. It's 11 minutes of sneak. Also, good God, I wonder what the upper limits of, like, elixir making is. If you had, like, a really, really expensive material, could you have, like, a thing go for an hour? Yeah. I have things to sell to you. 80 rupees for 11 minutes of sneak. Heathen you are. Oh. And that's 11 real world minutes. That's probably like days here. Do you hear me? Days. Just trying to think what things we could probably sell. Because I don't want to sell the diamonds. Because they are very rare and important, even if I can get them for like 10 luminous stones in Zora's Domain. Moblins aren't that scary. Just sell some monster parts, because they're a bit more easy to get. Like, maybe sell like five Bacoblin guts. Because, like, some of these things I wouldn't mind selling just so I could ah. try to max out my house. Just because I can. I'm a new homeowner. I want to splurge. But I'm not going to sell, like, any Hinox or Lionel parts. I'm not that much of a madman. Like, maybe Sapphire and Ruby, but... I'm not going to sell a diamond in my life, because I'm fairly certain diamonds are used somewhere. I skip across the bridge to my new home. From Twitch chat, howdy, how are we doing today? I'm doing quite well. I bought this house here, and now I'm furnishing it. What about you? How are you doing today? <laughs> Link homeowner arc, indeed. We also did some quests in Zora's domain. Mm -hmm. We found all ten of the monuments. Bolts in construction. What's our credo? Thunk, zip, hammer, saw. Ah. Good rhythm. Good job. <laughs> and we also gave ten luminous stones to get a diamond. Those are kind of tiny trees, but they're probably still... They were probably hard to install. Why were you just looking at me like that for a moment? Mm. House, sign with my name. Oh. Do it. Give it to me. Let everyone know, this is the home of Link. Mm. Hang on a sec. Gotta get my mind right. Hey. Most in construction, what's our credo? Any nail could fail. Oh. So don't let your hammer stammer. <laughs> per practically perfect. <laughs> Link's house. Almost surprised they didn't go all the way and just have it say Link. Let's see, I have like... I guess oh. one bow display. Then we'll continue like a uh, weapon, shield, shield, bow. See how it is. Oh. Time for some construction instruction. Mm. Bows in construction, what's our credo? Oh, uh, this is just another ah. one. Oh, that's the first repeat we got. It's like right after the other one. More. More. 
weapon mount. I'll just spend all my money. <laughs> we can display our battle rewards. I did put the ceremonial and light scale tridents as my first weapon ones because they're mm -hmm. special and they deserve to be Hi. put up. <laughs> Carson, awaken your inner animal. We are beasts of construction. Oh. Been waiting. <gasps> I had to think this place is just a dump. And now, shield mount. You know, I think I'm only like a few mounts away from maxing out the house. I almost to see what that's like. If they'll be like, oh, you unlocked advanced home oh. construction. Oh. Interesting though, like, ah. now it seems to be like, oh, he said yo instead. <laughs> instead of been waiting. <laughs> Have to wait for him to sit down so we can then Ooh. order him to do more. Gear display. Oh. Well, actually, the shield mount. <laughs> Farewell. Gear shield. Oh. Let's -a go. I might just go do more selling just to Ooh. finish off. Hey. Bolts in construction, what's our credo? If you can't pull the saw, oh. then don't push it. <laughs> I'm single-handedly keeping Hatino Bay's, like Hatino Village's entire diddly D thing alive. Let's see. Now that's that. Let's see. And my money. I'm gonna go get 200 more rupees. <laughs> got a friend diamonds? Nah, I already have four diamonds. I got three of them in Zora's domain from quests. And I am not going to sell them because they are rare and expensive. I did just like find a sapphire though by smashing up stuff in uh, Zora's domain. Oh. So I shall splurge. I will give you the honor, little man. You can buy a sapphire from me. Mm. Oh. Look at me, I'm like a normal person. I do not punch, I do not murder. Now let's go and finish up this house. It'll be nothing but displays in a bed. Mm. Gear display, bow mount. Hundred rupee. Work now. Oh. Oh. Carson, we are on. Ah. Right on. <laughs> and now I have to wait for you to sit down. Because you only do business while sitting on the ground. Oh. All daintily like. Build me. Gear display. Bow mount. Mm. Yes. And then, like, I wouldn't be surprised if we unlocked home building menu mm. two. Electric boogaloo. Mm. Bolts in construction. What's our credo? Funk zwip hammer saw. Oh. Good rhythm, good jaw. B.
Oh, it's really coming along. <laughs> ah! You housing monster! You got everything! Ah, such is the way of you have driven. Even reckless, some might say. Well, since you bought everything, I threw in some free furniture, yeah. Least I could do. Carson, look lively. Ah. I'm with you. <laughs> and now Carson's the only one to do the furniture. Well, I am tuckered. I couldn't swing a ball peen hammer right now, let alone an axe. Break time, baby. Booyah. Look at this place. It's mine. It's fully furnished. Lionel bow to assert dominance. Silver bow because Zora. Look at me. They even put in fake, like, pictures. These aren't mine. <laughs> we even got a dining set. We got trees, we got flowers. I guess this is where maybe my horse could be if I had a horse. I don't have a horse. Well, enough of that, I guess. Next, we'll probably go to the Nehru Tower and begin. Uh, well, then again, we could probably go here, put on the thing, and try to get the tower up here. Clear out these. Well, not clear out, but, like, start them. Hmm. You know what? Let's do that. Take us to the shrine. Let's make some tower time! I don't think I've ever bought the house before. Or if I did, I bought the house and then never furnished it. This is the first time I've ever furnished the house entirely. What do you mean there's a hardy radish nearby? I don't believe you, game. Unless you mean that it's being sold by somebody here. Hi. And this Goron is still here. Oh, Quest, what do you gotta Hi. say? What is it? Oh, hey, mister. Mm -hmm. You got a weird face. I'm a Hylian. Mm -hmm. Hylian? Never met one of those before. Aww. If you're Hylian... That means you came from really far away, right? You didn't happen to see my mom May on the way, did you? Ever since the water monster with crazy mom hasn't come home. Ooh. But hey, I mean, I bet she'll come home sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. <laughs> so I'm catching frogs and selling them to earn money for our family just until mom comes home. Frogging? <sighs> yep. Since mom hasn't come back from finishing yet, I've been catching hot-footed frogs and selling them to earn some money for our family. Mm -hmm. You were just pitying me, weren't you? You felt sorry for me, didn't you? Well, I don't need your pity. If you want to help, donate some hot-footed frogs. You can find them easily on rainy days. <laughs> I really need you to get some for me. Five frogs should be enough. I have, like, 20. <laughs> have some frogs. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> wow, you really brought them. Here, take this as thanks. <laughs> this is called an amaranth. I picked it because it's unusual, but it doesn't really suit me, so it's all yours. Oh. Link, mm. if you're going to look for May, I will help you however I can. Mm -hmm. Please ask me anything. Where could she be? Mm. The day Ruta started raging, she said she was going to fishing in Zora River. Ruta's rage caused the river to swell. She may have been swept downstream. However, if Lido's group didn't see her and see anything, maybe she passed through Zora River and is beyond. Oh. Worst case scenario, she could have been carried all the way to Lake Hylia. Mm -hmm. All right, that gives me more information. <laughs> it definitely gives me more info to work with. So 
So she's probably in Lake Hylia or around there. So basically the best way to do it is just to like follow the Zora River. Ah, darn. Am I gonna have to eat some of my stamina skewers because of the dam? <laughs> Lake Hylia, that's very far away from Zora's domain. Well, you never know. It swelled a lot, apparently. Give me your meat. Da 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 da. Da da da. And now we rise. <laughs> Oh, this is probably a bad idea. Huh, hardy bass. Very bad idea. I'll probably have to eat one of my skewers. Stamina skewer time! A lot of fish in here. Basically, you want a lot of fish, just come to this waterfall in specific and do some bombing. Swim away! A swim a swim a a swim a a swim a Now, up here, I could believe there to be a hardy radish. Don't worry, fox, I won't kill ya. I made a pact with the ghost of Tsushima foxes. No killing foxes. Alright, now we're gonna get, like, a good perspective up here. Well, I guess more just like that. Get up on here, one of these. I guess we'll go ahead and mark that tower. Ah, it's even the one that I really need to get to. Bop. You won't escape me. You dare escape me? How dare you? My bloodlust has been the end of me. Oh, Korok. I thought I was hearing something. Hey, Korok. Get your ass over here. If I had a rock, you'd be dead right now. Hmm. I'm trying to decide because there's probably like a lot to be found just by wandering around on your own down there. Now, of course, it's gonna fucking rain. It's always rain. I swear. I made a mistake, haven't I? Of course, it's always rain. I, I don't even know if I have enough wood to put down to turn into a bobbity bar. I okay, just want to make sure. Guess I'll mark that tower over here. Change stamp to that. I do like that that's a feature. I need to use that more. Well, I guess I'll sneak up on this guy, kill him. 
I might as well. Don't turn around so I can sneak attack you. Darn. Let me just continuously run away from you. Yep. And I'll just bomb you to death. No sneaking? Fine. Bomb instead. Huh, that missed somehow. I'm not scared of you. I was scared of blowing myself up there, though. Let's see. I could put you down with a flint. And of course you're running it rolling away because there's no justice in this world. Well darn you game. I'll use a fire thing instead. Oh, is it because I need like three or something and I only have two? Darn. So I can't even wait out the rain. And it's a blood moon. So that guy's gonna come back. There is no justice in this world. Fine, I'll just teleport back to Zora's domain. Instead. I just wanted to have a nice look to get to that tower. The game knew I was going to do that and said, nah -uh -uh. You're not going to be able to go to that tower. There's no justice in nothing. It doesn't seem like it's raining anymore. So we shall find our way. Up here. To get back to where we were. <laughs> Guess we can grab these. Since I have room now. Now we'll just head back to where we were. So that I can then scout out the tower and try and make my way to it. Scare me with your scare cord of doom, why don't you? Blood moon music. Of course, I also have to put on the Zora tunic. Can't activate the blood moon if I'm swimming up a, a waterfall. Can you, Cannon? Apparently he can. The blood moon rises once again. At an inconvenient time. our way to the tower, well not the tower, the waterfall, and uh, then to the vantage point that leads us to the tower. It's a multi-step program here. Which I'm sure there's a way to make the Blood Moon not activate during that night. Hmm. Interesting. I am unaware of it. I guess we'll do some luminous stone gathering since it's right here. And then we'll try and make our way to the tower and then that one shrine.
get smacked, idiot. You've been awake for like a day. I'm sure it's waiting inside a shrine until the next day or past midnight, so you saved it up for the next day. Mmm. That's an interesting thing. And also kind of a cool mechanic. And it's raining again! Fuck off. God damn it. I just want to be able to fucking look over here, analyze the area, and para drop down to the right location. But it keeps fucking raining! Fuck off! It's so annoying! Fine, I'll go. I'll stay at the inn if I have the money. Do I have the money? Probably. But still, that's so annoying! It shouldn't rain so frequently! You know, there's all the people like, ah, weapon durability, it's so mean. Uh, it's the fucking rain they should be complaining about. But no, because they have a bunch of rain apologists. They must be executed for their sins. And I think it's because there's like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how the weather is programmed. Maybe it's programmed like, ah, there's a rain crowd over that area. I will sleep. I knew it was you from a hundred years ago. You're Master Link. Not to be rude or by assaulting a customer with questions, but where have you been all this time? <sighs> you should know that in the last hundred years, my childhood friend Coda and I... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I should get back to work now. I will simply have to speak with Coda about you later. We're always happy to provide some sleep, a sound sleep to weary travelers. Welcome to Seabed Inn. Oh? I'll take the normal bed. Until noon. Oh. Good afternoon. You look like you slept well. Linny, were you able to appease the Divine Beast? That's a Hylian champion for you. Uh. It really was unfortunate about Mifa, but I was saddest about you, Linny. Oh, that's impressive, actually. Mm -hmm. That said, I can't find my daughter, Finley. I've looked everywhere. When last we spoke, she said something crazy like, I want to find a prince of my very own. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she's on her way to the Bank of Wishes again. I don't know where the Bank of Wishes is. <laughs> I swear to God, rain gods. Fucking Zeus. Don't you dare make it rain when I get back up there. Because I just want to get there, look down, survey the area. Also, infinite silver Z shield and Zoroa sword. But I just want to get up to that ridge so that I can just look over, survey the area, and try to get to that damn tower. That's all I want to do. It's all I want to do, and I can't do it if it is raining! Because, like, again, like, I find it just amusing that people are like, ah, weapon degradation, yeah, when it is totally, totally the rain that is the thing that is far, far worse. Because weapon degradation, you can, like, work around it. Not really rain. That's not what I was aiming for, game. Yeah. Let me into the waterfall. It's mostly just that the rain seems to happen so frequently. 
oh so frequently that just burns me. Mother fucker. At least I'll be able to see, because it's not like raining at night anymore. But God, why is has it been raining here for so fucking long? It's fucking bullshit. It should have moved on by now. I've come here three times now, and one of them was after a long sleep. Fuck off. I think... Is it really leaving? I don't know. I think the rain left after I told it to fuck off. Good. Okay. Now we can look over the fucking area. There's a shrine there, and then the shrine there. Both, like, within, like, reach. I think there might be a shrine there. It's just not loaded in. We'll finally sneak up on this guy. Fuck his day. Bing bong, I'm gonna kill you. How dare you turn around. That's illegal in 50 states. And you're just missing everything. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Boom. How dare you turn around, Rise? I'm about to just absolutely annihilate you. If I remember correctly, this is like a major location in Age of Calamity. And you're gonna be a bitch to deal with, I think. Oh, hey, another one. And oh hey, another one. And a stable, and it's raining again! Like really, why are you programmed like this? A million curses upon the program that's like, yeah, it should rain often. No, fuck you. <laughs> Apparently we didn't save Zora's domain because it's still raining and pouring and flooding. If that's not going to be part of the story, fuck off. You made it part of the story, game. We'll come down here, do this shrine, do the stable, try to man maneuver our way. Well, we'll have to go the long way, I think. And I shall make a big save, a permo save. As we make our way in. We'll do this shrine, we'll go to the stable. Then we'll probably go to the tower, activate it, do the shrine surrounding. I hear water, so I assume it's like a... Oh, not water. Lava. Huh. Well, I guess I'll have to... Catch you on your way down. Well, that's mean. I hit the button. There's probably another way to do it, but I'm curious. Nice. And now you're going to activate again, meaning I have to wait for you. I probably should have gone to Hatino thing to thing to uh, power up my... My slate's diddly d power. Gotcha. The real question is why are you metal? Mine now. Ba da 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 da. 
da -da -da -da. Gently place you down. You're gonna go rolling. Let's see. What do I want to throw in? Because how good are you? 26, yes, hey. Yeet a kiss with you. We must escape the metal orb. I guess maybe I could have used that to smash the, like, real destructible. That's not going to help me at all. So, new idea. I think I need the metal ball to push back against the torrent. Da da da. Da da da. Out of my way. Metal powers. Da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. Now you're surrounded by balls. Give me your orb. No idea if that was like the intended thing, but I can only imagine it was. Now we'll head to the stable, hope that we see Daddy Dilf cast down there. And then head to the tower and probably scream at the Flying Guardian. The Flying Guardian of Hell! Of Hell! You know, it'd be kind of disturbing if we ever came across, like, an abandoned stable. It's Cass! I'll be with you. Just a second. Hi. Good evening. If you're stopping by Foothill Stable, then you probably head to Goron City. Hmm. I'll say that's right. Uh. I thought so. Hold on, buddy. Are you really headed to Goron City just like that? Yes. Mm. See, this is how tourists get a bad rep. That place is a sheer cliff after sheer cliff, and it gets so hot past the second checkpoint that your body will catch fire. Normally, I wouldn't stop a stranger from heading to their doom, but I kind of like you. Uh. So I guess I have no choice but to sell you these fireproof elixirs. They can protect you from burning air. Even Guan City regulars usually take at least three re elixirs with them. I guess I'll take two, because I am four. And then I can make more. Cast me, boy! Oh. Ah, we meet yet again. How are you holding up? In case you're wondering about the song I perform at the stables, there are many theories about its origin. But according to my teacher, it was a song performed by the ancient hero to call his horse companion. <laughs> if you ever feel like hearing it, feel free to drop by. Anyway, time to get back to it. I'm sorry, Cass, but you already listened to it once. Uh. Thank you, Cass. I wish I had this kind of artistic skill. Oh. Have you come to look at this picture too? It's so beautiful. I could spend hours just looking at it. This painting was made by Uzunda, the owner of this stable or so I hear. Ah. That volcano in the background, it's so majestic. And the stable is subtle and in scenery. Ah. I think the stable was painted from a southern direction. The composition is just so impressive. So it's basically a shrine quest, yeah. So basically... Oh, hey, it's Beetle. 
from a southern position, you say? So, like, more like, uh, down this way. Yo, beetle! Beetle! And big fuck-off ostriches. Yeah! Hey! You're a great customer, and since today's customer appreciation day, I want you to have this! Beetle, what the fuck? How'd you get this? This even works on those guardian things! It's amazing! I hear it works best if you hit the guardians in the eye with it. This old guy named Robbie gave it to me. To find him, go way north past Zora's domain all the way to Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Old Robbie makes a bunch of other weird weapons and clothes and stuff. <gasps> I guess he's what you call a mad scientist, which is kind of cool but also terrifying. If you want strong weapons and stuff, you should go see him. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? Oh, I probably should have made, like, some stuff, because now I'm poor. I have one rupee to my name. <laughs> Boom! Oh, full... Oh, I thought it was going to be a full turkey. Stop running. Stop running, I have a bomb with your name on it. The fuck? It disappeared. Yeah, probably it was that picture. All right, fire keys, sure. Hmm, it was further down. Well, great. Double great. Quit breathing weird. You are illegal in 50 states. I hear screams. Why'd you come to the Akala region? Man, can't have shit in the Akalo region. Do a flip, bozo. I like that they actually... <laughs> I'm gonna sneak up on your ass. Turn your ass into grass. Billy boy, Billy boy. Oh, oh. Dragon Bone Boko Club. Well, I have two of these. Goodbye. Get up. Wake up. I saved your life. Give me money now. I blame my sister entirely for this. Let's go hunt for truffles. She says it'll be fun. She says it's you guys again. But you're so far away from your goddamn home. At least the last place I saw you hunt for truffles. God damn it, that's so fucking far away. Meanwhile, I'm still looking for like that one shrine to at least mark down. I want to mark it down so I can come and do it later. Probably should have talked to that guy, but he escaped me. And this other guy, he's probably going to be a... Let me guess. You're a traveler, aren't you? What's the word? It's on the tip of my tongue. I just can't think of it. It starts with L, ends in K... Hey, is it Link? <gasps> All right, the Hylian Champion, or so I've heard somewhere. That's you, right? You're Link. <laughs> Lay down your life. <laughs> Darn, almost got him. <laughs> hmm. 
Bomb. 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 Let's see, Vicious Sickle is 16. I prefer the Zora Sword. Well, that's almost broken. Prefer to, prefer to have a reliable weapon. I say. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, green. I shall replace to you. Alright. Good, good. Now, we're already on the way there, so let's head to the tower. But first I'll go blow up this super boar. Never mind the... <laughs> they protected each other. They knew I was coming. We'll head up this way. This is one of those times where I kind of wish I had a horse. Could have summoned a Pona, but I keep like, ah, yeah, I'll just walk. What, is it storming already? Darn it. And of course it's raining when I'm on my way to climb time. Why is it raining so often? The world is nothing but pain. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. You ain't blowing me up, you bastard. Oh, crack off. Big off. Hopefully the rain clears up when I get to the tower. Oh, there's gonna be pain. Yeah, just a plant. At least the lightning creates cool, like, lighting as we go by. South Akala Stable or South, Ak South Lake Akala? Well, I gotta say, uh, no stable here anymore. Unless I'm reading it from, like, the wrong, wrong location. How these guys haven't been annihilated, I do not know. Ah, neat. What's your health? I oh, won't even tell me, huh? Game? Game. Game. <laughs> Why was that? That's terrible. How oh, dare you. At least they're gonna take care of themselves with the lightning. Are you trying to get blind? Of course you have like the electricity thing, but you're not affected. The world is mean, improper. There is no justice in this world. Die. Am 
might try to stab me. You'll never stab me. Who needs actually the combat when bomb? Jerks. All because you didn't want me to sneak stab you. Knight's Claymore. Hmm. Well, we can always get more Zora Swords. Open sesame. More bomb arrows. That's nice. And at least that occupied my time. Alright, the yellow I can replace with treasure icon. Okay, now game. You better not automatically swap back to raining on my parading. Because I just want to get to that tower and activate it as a staging ground so I can go around. Do these many different shrines. Another boar. Will I actually be able to blow this one up? Don't mind me, I'm your friend. I am your friend! Forgot I still had that on. They're both blue, you see. I wonder how many flying guardians there's gonna be up in here. Yo, you dead? Good. I'm gonna expect like a few of these to be alive. Like, are you fighting a human? Who's dumb enough to be out here besides me? the story behind the castle there. Mm. That's the Akala Citadel ruins. Long ago at the peak of Hyrule's power, they built a fortress to protect Akala. It was said to be unassailable, but during the Great Calamity, Hyrule Castle fell. The army had no royalty to lead them. With no other choice, they fell back to this citadel to make their last stand. Uh. Sadly, a concentrated assault from the out-of-control guardians spelled the end of this fortress too. In a real sense, the kingdom of Hyrule met its doom here. Yeah. I found out on my own... I found out my own kin died in that battle, so I came to at least pray at the spot where they fell. But it turns out that the old guardians are still active, so this is as far as I go. Uh. I've never heard of anyone else escaping a guardian's sight, at least. It doesn't look... You don't look reckless enough to chance it, but be on your guard in these hills all the same. I wanna I guess there's nothing to grab from that. So I guess the way through is around a little bit. Then we gotta fight that jerk. So that it's not bothering us and doesn't see us twerk. Well, even these guys are afraid of it. Boom. Boom. -ba. Boom. Boom. So interesting that these things aren't on the Moblin side. Oh wait, I guess might as well take the opportunity. Sky Guardian. You know, I should probably put on a good shield. One that isn't about to break. Although I, go, I guess this one isn't like... 
terrible, it's mostly just... Don't be caught in its main sight, and you should be fine. Oh shit. Game. Game, you're very mean and wouldn't let me point my direction at that asshole. Granted, it won't even let me actually lock on to it. Thank you, game. I wasn't even in its sight. Don't function, game, when I tell you. That would be bad. Game. 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 I didn't click the diddly D. Did not click go into stealth mode. If enemy is pointing at me, I should be able to look back. That's how it works in the world. You killed me once, now I have to kill you back. Let's see. Maybe some bomb arrows. This will be fun. Let's see. Hey, jerk. Darn. I hate that I can't lock onto you! Why not, game? He's looking at me! Let me fucking lock on! That's so stupid! Oh, now you do! Being very weird game by your selectivity on lock on and not lock on. Schmack. And schmack. I do not understand. Sometimes I can lock on, other times I do not lock on. But I got into the zone there. That was nice. I don't have the stamina to just climb, climb all the way up. Yep. Bomb. 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 Well, this place does seem very defensible. Just probably not against an unyielding robot army. Uh, yeah, just bomb. Goodbye. Bye-bye! I don't want to deal with you. 240 HP having ass. Ah, shit. Once again, not letting me lock on. That's fun. I don't know why the game is so selective. It is locking on to me. You know this game. Let me lock on so I can feel safe in my parry. Fine, I shall slightly climb this adjacent side, maybe get closer, and be able to parry from here, I guess, maybe. Although, maybe Electro will work. Hey! For some reason, I thought that would have more of an effect. Are you gonna make it rain now, game? Genuinely, will you fuck off? Game. Genuinely. You see nothing, you stupid bitch. 
The fact that it started raining right as I started the climbing is so fucking stupid. Smack. Your wobble is annoying. Smack. Your wobble is very annoying. Smack. Smack. I'm slowly pushing it away with the power of my arrows, which in a way is kind of neat. Will the rain fuck off again? That would be nice. Game. There we go. Schmeck. And then I can just... Okay, that's a little bit mean. That was no wind-up. How dare. Yeah. Very rude game. Rain should just not do this. It's already summoned so many times. It should fuck off. Schmack. Give you time to recuperate. Schmack. Give you time to recuperate. Get behind wall because you apparently insta fire randomly. from YouTube chat. Hi. Hello, hello. We are currently suffering because the rain will not go away. It continuously comes by and I'm chipping my way through this guy. I refuse to use my ba 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 My ancient arrow that beetle gave me. Schmack. Schmack. And then I shall run, beh run behind the wall out of fear. <laughs> the first words I hear upon entering, how dare. <laughs> Yeah, because I started to climb. I was like, oh, fine. They're going to lay, lay the line with all of these flying guardians. I shall climb. Then it rains! Already after I had to suffer through a decent amount of rain problems earlier. And now I hide behind wall because you're probably going to annihilate me. After that one, just random out of nowhere, insta-fire, after you recuperated, I do not trust you. And the rain still continues. If we ever find a rain god in one of these games, they must die. Get out of here. I'll hop behind wall because you're wobbling away. And the rain still not, w still won't fuck off. Again, people complained about the weapon durability. It's the rain that should have gotten all the scrutiny. Schmeck. Schmeck. And hide behind wall out of fear. Just letting it know who's boss. Get out of here. Oh, shield. No. Weapon. No. I am not ever going to be caught. Fiendish rain. I'm currently playing Spirit Tracks. Zilla looks a bit different in that game. That is one cool thing. If that randomly hit me out of nowhere, I would have fucking murdered you. I would have been so fucking pissed off. I just want to climb from here, but it's been raining for a year. Again, Zora's domain is still going to flood and everyone's going to die.
I think there's only one more guardian left floating about. Thank you, game. You are so fair. And there's no real place I can hide because it's fucking raining! Again, why is it allowed to rain so fucking often? Aren't you partially made of metal? Like, well, I guess your guardian technology and my guardian stuff doesn't explode, but still, it's bullshit. I can't go anywhere because it's raining. I hate this. Like, the rain should last no more than a minute. I swear. How can I fucking play this game? Aw, oh, fuck off, game. Let me play the game! God damn you. Game, I was not running that direction. Fuck off. Oh, I hate you, game! Game, that's not what I did! Fuck off! God! Again, fuck the programmer who made it rain so much. It's so stupid. Let me just play the fucking game. It's all I want! But I can't! Because they put this motherfucker here, he has fucking a five billion degree villain, fucking vision. And I can't do any kind of maneuvering because it started to rain and won't stop. And I can't even really go in a different direction. Game, fuck off. Because there's like a moblin and a buckoblin who are like, uh, decently high level, right around this guy's goddamn vision. Will you shunt your cunt, goddamn fuck? And there's no, like, let me lock on, game. Oh, you won't let me? Fuck you. And finally, it stopped raining. God, the rain should not last more than a minute. It's so stupid. Hey, can I lock on? No, I can't? Well, that's dumb. If I'm being targeted by a guardian, I should be able to lock on to it so I can properly parry. Fuck off. God fucking damn it. I just want to play the game. But the rain fucked everything, and now this guardian is perpetually looking for me. And I don't want to wait any longer, because I've been waiting because of the rain! Not to mention, it's way too close to the edge for my liking. Fucking finally. And now I have to deal with the corruption. But genuinely, the rain lasts way too long sometimes. And in my opinion, probably comes and goes far, far too much than it should. Dang it. Like, there needs to be a grace period of like, hey, don't rain for a decent amount of time. Because I swear it rains so fucking often. No. I just want to get a vantage point. And maybe also this chest. Get schmecked. 
Get double schmeck as I now fly over here to smack you even more. No. None of that. And now I, you're in the hole. The bomb hole now. Where the hell did my bomb go? You're in the bomb hole. Die. The bomb hole. The hole of bombs. Die. I had to give up my vantage point on the eyeball because of you. Not exactly in the hole. But you're close enough. Come fight me. I'm right here. Come get me. Fine, I'll just throw rollers at you. Like, I know it makes sense for you to not be affected by the corruption. At the same time, still feels a bit cheap. Like, at least it should strip you of your flesh from your bone and turn you into a Skelebok Goblin. Or Moblin, or whatever your name is. Turn you into a Skelly Dockoff. I have to murder you, so just in case you don't, uh, mind your own business. Darn. Get out of here. Come on, climb. Get out of here. Okay, for some reason that, I feel like that should not have been a headshot, but okay. Uh, apparently it's getting cold in here. For the first time in five million years, warm doublet strikes. Now I know there's like an eyeball here somewhere. Will you please be gone? Utter Satan Lord. Utter fool. Yeah, that works. I know you had like items. I partially don't care. I'm looking for an eyeball that was like around you somewhere. Like I know there was an eyeball that I was should be able to shoot. It was around here. I was like over there and I saw it. Did I actually hit it? And now I'm in a bad place. Darn. Darn. For my vengeance, I shall kill you. I shall murder you. Again, just really feel you should become a skeleton. How dare you try to fling yourself at me. Illegal. question is how do I get in is there a certain angle or is there an eyeball I need to destroy because I know I destroyed one eyeball but I don't see any others game just get to the top and let me do stuff okay Hmm. Okay, from this angle, it seems like I might be able to, like, get around, but I'm not sure. No, it seems like... Hmm. Maybe I have to climb through the corruption, and that's part of the challenge. Like, ah, you have to have enough hearts to get through. And that's partially why they might have this here as a make some hearty food to get through. Test, maybe? Could be it. Again, could have sworn there was an eyeball, but I guess I did get it. Again, I swear that that should have opened up my paraglider. How dare you, game? So it 
does seem to roughly be that. I need to climb my way in. Do I have any big health boosters? I think I sold a lot of them. That one's a little too much. Let's see if I can climb on corruption. All right, that was weird, game. Maybe that was not what they intended. But I saw no other way. I did not see an eyeball. Zoosh. Should probably not be playing stamina games in the corruption pond. Whoop. 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 Darn. Not my stamina games. Especially because this is not the time where I'd like to eat my stamina skewers. This is not really the time. Whoosh. I guess so long as I fall along the right lines, I shouldn't... Well, you certainly defied the Nintendo intended way. I genuinely have no idea what the intended way was. Like, maybe with that gate? Maybe I could have magnesis it? But it's just like, it was already a pain to get up here because of the rain and the flying guardians. I do not want to use my brain to get up the rest of the tower. If they wanted me to actually solve the intended way of this here diddly dee, well then maybe it shouldn't have been agony to get up here. But there is an eye, and I thought I shot it. I looked around five times, couldn't see it. If they wanted me to find an eye, maybe they shouldn't have put top tier moblins or bacoblins up here. So I first had to do a round of looking and killing for the, the those jerks. Let me just look for the eyeball first. But they didn't. How dare they? Three layers of deep just to activate a tower. Well, you see, it's a tall climb, and then there's flying guardians, and then there's rain, and then there's these big guys, and then there's the corruption with eyes. Cut something, damn it! So I can actually think! It was mostly the rain. Because there's so much goddamn rain! And always when I'm about to climb! It just is very frustrating. Once again, people complained way too much about the weapon durability when the rain was right goddamn there. If only you could cryo the rain to make a wall platform. Give me rain tech, and then maybe. I think there's a thing down there. All right. We're going to head to, I presume... Like, just like, all this, check out there, maybe. And then, like, try to do some shrines here before moving on to the next tower. But yeah, the rain has just been a very big nuisance to with this tower in particular. And I do not care for it. I wonder if you just, like, land on top of the Flying Guardians, if you can just turn them off. That would be funny. I found the off switch. Beep. The off switch. I need to stop slurring my words. Plus, one of these days, I summon Cthulhu to murder us all.
I'm gonna find you. Come on, stop walking so I can stab you. Oh, I actually can just walk up behind you and stab you. Uh, uh, ineffectively, but a little bit. And give me your forked Lizal spear. Yeah. But yeah, eternally, eternally, I just dread rain. Because at least you can, like, work around weapon durability. Not so much with the rain. Unless you have just five billions of, uh, stamina. There's not really much you can do. Into the water with you, even though that ruins everything for me. A level 30 what? You dare? In the house of God? Especially because, like, rain is one of those things that you just can't even put resources against, really. Rain just happens, and you, you're doomed. Yep. Done. Out predicted by a pig. I loved using this boomerang for animal hunting? Huh. I just use bombs. Bomb. Ah, Razor Shroom. We haven't run into you yet. Honestly, no idea if I'll... Like, what I might use the... 36 damage boomerang for. Like, I never use the boomerangs for actual boomerang things. I only ever just use them as a smack stick. Schmickety schmack. You use fire? You use fire arrows? How dare. Alright, get rid of you so that your buddy can't do much. So I can mostly focus on your buddy. <laughs> Darn, the no fall damage. No. You dare? I poke you. I poke you lots. Die. Steel is all bow. Nice. Do you even have to drop anything for it? Well, it's less noisy, no accidents with it like the bomb. <laughs> That's fair. And it's raining again! Luckily, I'm going into a shrine, but still, why does the rain happen so much? I don't even care if it's like 50% non-rain, 50% rain. That is still too much rain! The world would be flooded! Done to hell! All right, apple offering time. Here you are, apple. Yeah. Funnily, I don't think I've yet to kill a horse with bombs. We'll do this shrine, check out that weird diddly dee stuff. Because I thought I saw weird plants, which could mean fairy fountain. I please beg you, please do not be a combat one. 
no. Son of a bitch. Is it advanced? Oh, minor. Haha. <laughs> ah, that's good at least. It is minor. We don't have much to worry about. I'm putting on my combat stuff. Let's see. Guardian sword. Well, most can survive a bomb, but one of the uh, ones I met wasn't. Mm, that's fair. You can handle a major with the gear you've got now. Yeah, but I just I don't want the the threat. Oh, you're gonna do a you're gonna do a thing. Get smacked, idiot. Machine gun, you bitch! Oh. I'm coming for you, motherfucker! And an ancient battle axe. Nice. Again, there has to be some psychopath out there that was like, I'm gonna do a Breath of the Wild run and only use bombs. And I'm gonna, before I forget, put back on my sneak set. What will it be? Diamond! I guess that's applicable. Giant core. <laughs> there already was for the, I assume, bomb run. I can only imagine what it must look like, the patience. One more spirit orb and I'll be able to get my first stamina vessel. Uh, Evan with a four between the V and the E. Uh, Evan, a tree branch only run. Ooh, that sounds like hell. Because <laughs> those, like, break easily. You gotta f stock up on them. I'm not gonna have the fucking money. God damn it. And unless a beetle shows up again. Hmm. I guess I could just... Well, first I should see how much she's gonna ask for. As well as get some mining experience over here, because these are things... How about that? How many fa fairy fountains have you found so far? This one, and the one in Kakariko Village. I have not ventured far, I've only really gone to Zora's Domain. Alright, lady. How much are you gonna swindle me for? The last one was like a hundred. Are you gonna ask me for like five hundred? Oh, let's see. Boy, sweet boy, please, listen to my story. I am the great fairy Mija. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg you to help. I need rupees to become whole again. Five hundred rupees. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quick. I don't have them. Here you go. How tragic. How dreadfully tragic. 
Well, I guess I'll go back to Zora's Domain. I think I should be able to sell out there at General Store, too. I just never tried. See what to sell. I guess I could sell, like, one diamond, but I don't think that's a good trade. Diamonds are rare. Sure, I did have unlocked unlimited diamonds for ten luminous stones. But I still don't think that's, like... A smart thing to do to sell my diamonds. Like, other ones, maybe. My diamonds, no. Surely have enough amber luminous stones. Probably amber. But I also don't know if, like, amber has any applications or not. This is our general store, the Coral Leaf. We have swift violets that will help you run faster if you cook and eat them. We also carry arrows for travelers. If you see something you like, just grab oh. it from the table. Oh, unless you have some other business with me. I want to sell. Oh. I don't want to sell you my palm fruit. Oh. It's my fruit. That fruit is mine. My fruit. Amber has some, but it's mostly obscure, plus it's common enough. That's true. Oh. I'm five away from getting another diamond, so I don't want to sell my luminous stone. But yeah, like, there's a good chance to usually get oh. them. Plus, I can always sell Moblin parts, because I don't think these have, like, much application beyond a thing. Oh, Opals, too. Opals oh. are the same, not really... Like, use use mostly for sell. If so, then I don't mind selling them either. Oh. Ah. Now we will teleport back and activate the fairy. And see if we can upgrade to level 2 on some of our stuff so that we can... Like, get the set bonuses. <laughs> For me, I was cooking meat and selling skewers. That's kind of what I was doing. I, like, uh, have been grabbing a bunch of, uh, hearty radishes. And then cooking them with a bunch of meat. Because that makes them go for, like, 120 for just, like, one radish and four meat of just any tier of meat. So just, like, four drumsticks and one radish, even just, like, the small one, 120 rupees per cell. All right, I got you 500 rupees. Now, you have rupees for me, right? Hand them over quickly. In order to regain my power, I need 500 rupees. Thank you. You are too kind. Oh, the power. It's overflowing. My power. It's overflowing. And then Z Broly comes out. Yeah, and once you start meeting the meatier animals like the wolves and buffaloes, you get more of the good prime and gourmet meat. Nice. Hmm, so you're the one who released me. I was expecting someone bigger, I guess. But a slim little lad like you will do just fine. <laughs> the great fairy says, Twink! Thanks to you, my power has been returned to me. And I think you'll agree a good deed deserves a good reward. I can enhance your clothing, but I require the necessary materials to do so. Huh. With the power to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a fair amount. I should be able to. I need silent princesses and I need Farash already! I need Farash already! Ah! One moment. How do you activate? <laughs> A 
simple ex escalation from just breathing on me. Hmm. Huh. Enhance my stealth. <laughs> There's silent princesses near this fountain? That's true, but at the same time, Farosh. I guess maybe I could try and begin next stream with Farosh coming out because I think I know where Farosh lives. But I have no idea how to actually get, like, Farosh stuff. Do I actually have to shoot him in the face to get the horns? And they should give me a s set bonus. Farosh freaking ambushed me once. Kind of the same. I was just passing over the lake he spawns out of at t midnight. And darn, I am two Hyrule Bass away from being able to upgrade my entire stuff. Like, even more so, bleh, sadness. <laughs> I still find it funny that, like, skipping the animation is basically as long as the animation. At least you're not asking for any rupees for, like, actually doing this. Huh. I think the set bonus for Zora enables headbutt attack in the water. No, that's just one of the pieces. I think. I think it was the, like, pants. Like, uh, makes it so that you attack in the water. I guess I could try and upgrade the soldiers' stuff. Ah, oh, neat. Any of them do the, the each animation. So I won't be able to do all of them. I should probably at least upgrade, like, the helmet and the pants and maybe use them in combat, potentially. If I can upgrade them. Just do lots of upgrading. And then maybe I need to take note of, like, what upgrade materials I need. Mm. And try to get them. Because huh. if I'm in a watery place, I do want... <laughs> Zora... Chest plate. So I can go up waterfalls with great ease. Ooh. Upgrade everything! <laughs> Why can't you upgrade my warm doublet, lady? Mm. And then I'll upgrade oh. the pants above all. And then actually upgrade another one. This will go perfectly with using my champion's tunic as my main thing to see health. Which doubly means that I really should look for silent princesses and Farosh's horns as soon as possible. To get to 14. Oh. 
from YouTube chat. When are you going to play Pokemon Black and White? That is the next Pokemon game that I am, like, set, quote-unquote, to play. Because I played Platinum not too long ago, earlier this year. It's mostly of uh, when I f have the vibe of wanting to do Pokemon again. Oh, where's the other one? Where's your five? Have I been cheated? Where's the five? Where the hell's the five? You have it nicely set. I will destroy your home. The five does not exist, confirmed. On Twitch chat. Speaking of Pokemon, did you uh, see the surprise drop they added to the GBA app? I don't even know about the GBA app. I've never heard of it before. Unless you mean like the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, which I guess is technically fits. I guess we'll go down to the island, see if there's anything there. Then probably teleport, look. Well, maybe not. But yeah, teleport there. Go here. Try and do stuff. It definitely makes sense why they went for, like, red rescue team rather than blue rescue team. Because easier to just add in, like, a Game Boy Advance game rather than... Try to make it so that DS functions properly on the ba 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 ba. Yeah, man. And I shall set treasure chest. Give me your food. Even though I like Wolf Link, I have no qualms for killing wolves. I still really, really hope that Mystery Dungeon gets at least something good next year. Because if I recall, next year should be the anniversary of all Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I can't seem to make the dishes I picture in my head. Blah, what happened to my inspiration? At times like this, I always say, nothing beats eating a delicious meal. Mm. It not only heals your heart and soul, it can also make you heat, cold, shock, or fire resistant, or even stealthier. Dishes are the best. Thanks to cooking, I can move forward in life. I'm so glad I became a cook in this crazy world, huh? Hey now, why not take a quick look at the ingredients I've gathered? Sure. Yeah. I'll probably not buy anything. Ah. <laughs> I never played uh, Mystery Dungeon, so this will allow me to sample it. I, like, I still stand by that rescue team is the best way to begin with Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Like, even though there is, like, uh, uh, Rescue Team DX, which is probably the better way of experiencing Rescue Team specifically... But I think old Rescue Team is good because it allows you to, like, come to grips with, like, the original gameplay for, uh, Explorers of Sky. Where the hell did the wolves go? The wolves just went into the earth. Because I still think that Explorers of Sky is, like, of the best of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Even though, personally, it is a tight race. Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon are also really, really good. I still need to grab, like, uh, buh 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 Rescue Team DX for the Switch. But, like, all of them, all of them are just so good. 
in their own individual ways. Like, Rescue Team DX, or, like, Rescue Team is a simple, like, story, but it's very good. Just I heard they were roguelikes. They are. Create your own little Pokemon team, and then head into randomized dungeons while playing out a story. It's very fun. Harry Town. That has like one building, I think. Ooh, hey, we meet again. Who are you again? I'm one of the Bolson construction contractors. The name's Hudgen. I remember. <laughs> Me too. What are you doing? Since I've been transferred here, I've been decided to build a village from scratch. Every village needs a name, though. I think I'll call it Terry Town. Good idea. However, what's wrong? I built a house to store the village supplies in, but there just isn't enough. Enough what? Enough anything. People, money, stuff. I'll help out. But why? There's nothing in it for you. I don't mind. You're a lifesaver. Well, I suppose to get started, we'll need houses for people to live in. We can't invite them until we have homes. Do you think you can bring me ten bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I already got and start on new houses. Sure thing, my dude. Yep, hey look, a statue. And I am one bloody thing away, I think. Yep. But yeah, I highly recommend Pokemon Mystery Dungeon as a series. Each one has its own different, like, quirks. So, like, maybe some of them you might not vibe with, other ones you might vibe with more. It all depends. Personally, I liked every single one I played. The only ones I haven't played are the WiiWare games. And to be fair, nobody really cares for the WiiWare games all that much. Like, they're not terrible, it's just that... They, I think they were very basic, and really only focused on the gameplay and didn't really have much story, if I recall. But even then, they were, like, referenced once, I think, in the anniversary game Super Mystery Dungeon. But as I did not play them, I do not know what that reference is. That's weird. Fiend! that decides to not die to bombs. It only wants to be cut down. Yeah, I genuinely hope that next year being the anniversary year for Mystery Dungeon. Actually, come to think of it. Technically, the first release was Red Rescue Team. And they put it on the Game Pass, or like, not the Game Pass, but the Nintendo Switch Online. Hopefully that's a message that next year, the anniversary year, like 20 year anniversary, they actually have something good coming out. Ooh. Hello, did you bring the tin bundles? I brought them. Excellent, can I have them? Sure. You're a lifesaver. Mm. Well, next is... Uh-huh. These bundle boulders are driving me nuts. I want to move them out of the way so we can develop the land underneath. It'd really help if you could find someone with enough brute physical strength to bust them apart. Physical strength? Mm. Yeah, if we're talking brute strength, and we are, a Goron would be my first choice. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in some. If you run to anyone that fits the, that... I've had, I've said, send them here to Terrytown for me. I don't know if I've met a Goron with the name Sun. Also, very odd naming convention, but I guess you do you. I guess we'll teleport here. Go there, because I think I, well, I marked this for a reason. 
then probably like teleport here to hit these and then go to the other tower. <laughs> Bombproof tree? <laughs> Must be petrified wood. No idea. Went down easy when it came to just a normal knife sword. It just refused to be bombed. Well, let's see. Oh, just down there. Let's get away from this cold place. Is that like a another stable? I missed another stable. I'll go to that one first and then to the stable. Huzzah! I think someone was walking to the stable. Let me in. What will you be? Will you be combat? Will you be gyro? It'd be funny if there was just a normal shrine out in the open and you just walked in. They're like, you found it. Here. You win. I think it's gyro time. Oh. Interesting. Gyro time. It's gyro time. Let's see. Can I freeze them? I cannot. I can freeze these, apparently. That's interesting. Wait a minute. What was that I saw? I saw another thing. There we go. Treasure chest! Darn, my inventory is full. It was only a 12. So, not all that worth it to me. Shame. And more gyro. Ah, uh, it's the ball roller. I wonder if I can... Nope, don't think I can uh, cheese this one. Booyah! So far, the gyro shrines have been very kind to me. Granted, I cheesed the first one, the ball maze, by flinging the ball out of the maze. I've just been getting lucky. <laughs> Do 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 do. But 
Now we have enough for a stamina vessel upgrade. Yes. I think it's like a quarter of a wheel or something. And now we're going to make our way down to another stable. Ho ho! I've come to burn your house down. Well, Beetle's here. Unfortunately, I have no new horse. I keep forgetting to add blah 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 op opponent to the game. Tracy here. No matter where I go, my love for rumors inevitably follows. Don't you make don't you make it a point to dig up rumors while traveling? In any case, today's topic of discussion is the dreams of teleportation. Apparently, there was once an ancient medallion that could instantly teleport you to wherever you placed it. What's more, this wondrous item may still be somewhere out there, just waiting to be scooped up. I must say, it sounds like the perfect item for travelers, adventurers, and rumor lovers alike. I hear the treasure chest beneath, uh, containing this tool is located beneath a labyrinth in Northeast Akala. I think I know where that one is. But I think it's also kind of a pain to get there. Hey. Oh, thanks for coming to see me. Oh, you appear to have a bladed rhino beetle. He just wants the bladed rhino beetles. Sure. What do you got to sell? I guess I'll buy this arrow pack. Why not? Everything else I can just get on my own, really. Oh, you have a quest for me? What do you want? I'm just hanging out. We'll see about that. Mm. What's that? What do you have there? That's amaranth, isn't it? Could you, um, maybe give me some? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. For you to be walking around with my favorite plant, seems you and I may just get along after all. Mm -hmm. That said, Akala is famous for, well, nothing. So I have to ask, what could you possibly come here for? Hudson? Mm -hmm. Hudson? Oh, that carpenter did stop by, as it were. He said something like, I'm going to build a village from the ground up. I think he went toward Lake Akala. Lake Akala is to the east of here, if you're curious. You should head over there. Mm -hmm. That said... Let's see, what else? I'm a traveler. I see a traveler, eh? And I guess I have a request for you. My little sister Gleam is a huge fan of insects. I know, I don't get it either. But apparently there's a certain insect she's dying to see in real life. She won't tell me about it, though. Mm. I suppose there's some things you just can't talk about those you're closest to. Anyway, would you mind talking to her and finding out which silly insect she's so crazy about? It's for her birthday. Think of it as a special birthday favor, Ooh, or even a birthday quest. Look, just do it, okay? Gleema, is it you? <laughs> the four constants of Zelda. Link, Zelda, Ganon, and Beetle. You're not Gleema. I do know that Beetle is in a few games. So that is kind of funny. Yeah. You're Kaifa. Huh? Yes. There's a rumor that a suspicious person named Kilton appears at Skull Lake just north of here. Mm. They say he's the owner of something called the Fang and Bone. It only appears at night or so, they say. It seems the East e uh, Akala Stable up north is hiring soldiers to for protection because of the rumors about Kilton. So be careful out there. Where is Gleema? I guess I should actually try and look at the adventure log. Wake up, child. Damn it. Fine, we won't. I guess next we'll try and go do this tower and then maybe that will do it for now. We have been going for four hours. This game just... Ugh. Aside from the rain, it's very, very nice. Although maybe I should have tell... Actually, I think I'll teleport to a town and uh, get a stamina vessel first. I suppose I should do it at Kakariko. I think it's simplest.
That way we can have our first taste of a stamina upgrade. And the world can feel the joy. Again, I just really like that Varuta was added to the loading stream. Night speed bonus. But I want to come up here because I see you. Of course, you're looking my way. I want to hit this guy and get all the rupees from him. Give me all your rupees. And for once, there was only one here. But hey, lots of rupees. I want a stamina vessel. That, for some reason, that gives me big Ocarina of Time vibes, and I don't know why. How big is the upgrade? Ah, decent enough. And now we shall teleport back up here and try to get to that tower. And then I think my next stream's goal will be trying to find the Master Sword. Or I guess more precisely, finding the forest that contains the Master Sword. What? Why is that so shiny? Huh. huh? I could have sworn that was like a quest that includes Cass. But I just can't seem to, like... Activate it none. Why is this paint splattered? I guess we'll talk to you just to make sure. Oh, oh, we meet yet again. How are you holding up? In case you were wondering about the song I perform. Nope, just same thing. <laughs> We've already heard it once before, but thank you for the offer, Cass. Oh, oh I didn't mean to hit you. I'm sorry. The next one... Huh, so it might actually be... I'll show you, motherfucker! Yep. Bomb! Be gone, Satan! No one loves you! Have you ever heard anybody say their favorite character from a Zelda game was the Moblin? If so, they deserve to be executed by a Moblin for poetic justice. Those tiny birds give so much meat, what the hell? Oh. I was looking the entirely wrong way. For some reason, I thought like, oh, I'm in the perfect area. I'm a fool. Now, we're definitely not going to go deep in. Oh. Well, that's mildly horrifying. <laughs> I saw it moving. But yeah, we're definitely not going to go deep into Death Mountain territory just yet. Because that would kick my ass. <laughs> 
I just want to get up there enough that we can activate the tower, bounce, and then from there head more to the left in the map coordination. Of which we will then try to find the forest to get the Master Sword before continuing around trying to activate towers to then, like, probably head to Rito Village so that we can do the Rito Divine Beast because Rivali is bay and deserves attention. People always complaining about Ravali when they should be complaining about the rain. Plus, if you find the forest, you might find Mr. Bag Expander. To be fair, I don't think I have that many, like, uh, like, uh, bag expansion resources that would really help me. At least not right now. Give me your meat. Oh, hey. Some luminous stones. Enough of them and I'll be able to get a, a nice diamond. Then again, maybe I could get a decent amount of, like, bow and, like, shield expansion. But I like to go down weapon expansion because those are what I go through the most. Oh. Yeah, you found me! Die! The one benefit of there being so many of those ones that are like, Hey, pick up a rock! Means I can drop a rock on their head. And feel no remorse. You know what they say about camping? Leave it as you found it. Put rock back on top of Korok. Bury it alive. This is a neat place, though. I've, I don't think it... Come to think of it, I don't think I have ever actually gone to Goron City. Because if I remember vaguely, in my first ever playthrough of this game, which was when the game first came out, I think I only ever did Zora's Domain, Rito Village... And the Gerudo Town. I've never gone to Goron City. And even then, I don't really remember all that much about Rito Village. Or all that... Ah, uh, shit. Bomb! And rocks, apparently. Oh boy, spicy choo-choo jelly. Here's the spicy the choo choo jelly. Spread it on the. Oh shit! Give me your jelly! Give me your chest! So that's like a better version of the. My diddly D, I think. Let me double check. Goron made two-handed weapon. It's made of thick, hard metal and has no cutting edge, so it relies on sheer weight to crush all foe opponents. I know where to get another one of these, so we can get the, those at Terrytown. I'll make a, I'll take a cobble crusher. Die, Choo Choo! <laughs> Give me your jelly. Give me your shit. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Goddamn choo choos. No one loves you. You are not the Dragon Quest slime.
Take bomb. Well, shit. Yeah, roll down the mountain. Get out of here. Yep. You think you're safe? You are not. You are not. You are heathen. Bomb. Prepare for war. Prepare for crime. Prepare for craft. Oh, that looks like exactly the same as every other low-tier Bacoblin bow. Apparently not. Hey, mind if I uh, pick you up and never let you go? And then we shall take this. I do like the look of this place, because that looks just like solidified magma. Because it probably is. Well, up we go. It doesn't look like it'll be a horrible, painful climb, unless there's, like, God at the base saying, No, you will not climb. Fuck you. Oh boy, the Elden Ring. Gotta slowly climb this tower. I probably could have climbed the other side. From YouTube chat, I just did something stupid and it worked. Don't you love when that happens? I could have literally just climbed to that part and gotten up here so much faster. Gotta climb slowly. Gotta climb slowly, gotta climb slowly, or else we'll fall down. And that would be bad, we turn ourselves to a clown. Wiki, 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 get our stamina back. And then we begin another climbing track. Booyah. I need to do more shrines to get more stamina. Because getting more stamina just to spam that, that would be so good! So awesome! Slowly climb the tower. Slowly climb the way. Slowly climb the tower. Every single day. Like, imagine if you actually had to climb this for, like, tower maintenance. Oh no, the Sheikah's network went down. Better climb the Tower of Doom. Never mind, I opened the door and instantly died. That is the way of most games. I did a stupid thing in one! One second later, God decided to punish you for your hubris. Blip, flop, skibbity dop. Booyah! We are nowhere near, like, even halfway up this place. Quickly take a glance around. Huh. Guess we've already been out there. I mean, that is normal area. Meanwhile, over there, we see the bird. The bird of doom, the castle of doom. Pride Rock. Hmm. 
let's see. Guess I could try that because I thought I saw a shrine there. Get that out of the way. Ah, shit, I see a... I see a guardian down there. That's not good. Don't you hunt me. Don't hurt me. We just gotta fly all of the way. Just gotta fly every day. I thought I saw a shrine. I don't think... I probably shouldn't have aimed for the monsters. Yeah, I think that's too many monsters I want to deal with. Down I go. Super stealth there, man. Go ahead and do this shrine, since it's in a decent place to just do. Collect ingredients. Kill God. Kind of boxed in. I wonder what's this going to be. Fire, huh? Do I even have any weapons to light on fire, Dragon Bone? <laughs> Almost set myself. I did set myself on fire. What fun. I think I have fire arrows, so if I need to. <laughs> ah, shit. I'm gonna kill you! No. No blasting in here. It's a bit of soda because it's 20. I'm an idiot. I am a silly little idiot. <laughs> Wahoo. <laughs> Boomerang. Cut that for me. I think I lost that weapon now. I tried to be thrifty. Instead, I lost my weapon. I got my weapon back. Huzzah! Well, I guess I'll go ahead and cut. Well, I'm just going to do it normally. I don't want to lose my bow. Or no, I don't want to lose my uh, boomerang. That's why I don't want to lose. Give me chance. Night's ball. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Night's ball. Ba -da 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 -da. Why'd you all move? Do you anticipate me murdering you? Knock them all down. We'll get there eventually. Open Sam's. The magic word. Give me your orb. I demand it. I guess this was the pyromaniac ma monk. Your willingness to set everything on fire proves that you deserve this orb. Yep, metal weapons can create sparks. But even sometimes I hit them with a, like a flint with them. And it still doesn't seem to do nothing. Let's see. I 
guess I'll head to the Nehru Tower for proper looking around. We'll mark the tower like uh, upwards above ways from the castle. And we'll probably head away that way. Kind of make our way clockwise, stopping off at the Rito Village to do that stuff if we can. Especially because I think the Rito Village is like in a cold place. So it should be relatively easy for me to get through because I've got a warm doublet. 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 I've got a warm, warm doublet. Hmm, from YouTube chat, should I make my boomerang fire or ice? I honestly don't know. Because this is for spirit tracks, right? I genuinely don't know. Because I guess ice would be, like, it depends, I guess, if there's more opportunity to burn things or freeze things. Well, depending on if the that even is how the boomerang works. Because I don't know <laughs> spirit tracks' like, uh, gameplay mechanics. Let me see. And this also might lead me to uh, Lake Hylia, where I can look for the 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 lady. But I guess I might uh, just next time jump down and follow the road to get there. If that even is the way it could go, it could split here, or it could just go, nope, go down. Could go either way. Could also maybe stop by the stables along the way to look and see. And then maybe... We've done lots of things. Lots of things. If I wanted to, I could probably go up to Mount Lanayru's because I think that's another place where the uh, a dragon hangs out. But I think that's what we'll do next time. Maybe follow this path. Maybe one of the Midnights head to, uh... Where is it? Uh... I could have sworn that I did the tower over here. Come to think of it. Did we not do a tower over here? I could have sworn. Because I thought we went to, like, uh, the lake. Because it was like a... Hmm. Weird. Oh, wait, no, we went down here. Oh, this is Lake Hylia. That's completely the wrong direction. How the hell did you get... How, did you, how the hell did you get from this river to this lake? But I guess one of these, uh... Like, midnights, we might come down here to try and get horns from Farosh. But Rito is doubly cold, so you need double your doublet protection. Oh, boy. Ice boomerang freezes water. Fire boomerang lights torches. Yeah, I just genuinely do not know because I haven't played Spirit Track, so I don't know which one would be more valuable. So I don't feel like I can give adequate advice on that front. But I do believe that will be the plan. Next time, we will begin making our way up here to try and get the sword. Then we'll kind of meander around this area, doing towers and shrines as we make our way to the Rito village, probably. And then one of these days at midnight, we might come down here. Or like, yeah, at midnight to capture some horn stuff, horn fragments of Farosh. <laughs> Thanks for the stream and thank you for watching. Breath of the Wild has been a lot of fun. But yes, but yes, thank you all for watching. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Currently, I am streaming both Persona 3 and Breath of the Wild, but it really depends on my mindset on that stream day because I want to do Persona 3 justice, and I need to be in a good mind space to really jump in and do what I feel, so I don't half-ass it. But, uh... If you want other things from me, my link tree has links to all that I do. It's link linktr.ee slash neonicywings or direct links in the bios, descriptions, and link places of the various sites. In there, it has links to my edited content YouTube channel, 
streaming YouTube channel or streaming Twitch, depending on your preference, with all of these here streams ending up on the streaming YouTube channel for posterity and quality. And then if you want more art from me, like my little character in the corner and in slate art, you can follow me on various sites that I upload my art to, and then also on various sites that I upload my writing to, because writing is nice, and I need to do more of it. And then, of course, my Patreon is linked in there as a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but more importantly, be kind. Thank you for watching and spending your time with me. Bye-bye.